Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Anecologist Plays where we are back in Palworld and as always we are joined by Nick the Beast and she is sporting some very nice blue hair there. Hello everyone. <laughs> so I hope you all are having a wonderful wonderful weekend. We are having one hell of a rainy time on this side which is really really just amazing. I am loving the rain. Uh, but yeah, we are just going to be carrying on here in Palworld and seeing what on earth we can do. Because, well, first of all, we are going to try to get three level ups. So if we can get level 23, or if, I can, or if one of us gets to level 23, we'll be able to get the Gale Claw Gloves, which will allow us to actually fly around with the Gale Claws instead of, with, uh, well, instead of these boring little parachutes, which are so extremely slow. We are going yeah. to make use of the PAL, the Gale Claw, and we'll talk about them as we go on. I uh, see I am hungry again. I wonder whether I have actually set my hunger or our hunger down in this game, dear. Probably not. Probably not. Um, really so, should. Gale Claw for sure. And yes. then we will also need, if we can, get some Feng Lopes. Yes, we are going to hopefully uh, breed some Feng Lopes. We are slowly but surely trying to get cake over here. <laughs> but our poor little Fox Sparks over here is just cooking up a firestorm and it's just barely, barely moving. We are going to have to get something with better cooking or better kindling soon. Hopefully we will get a nice one as we go along today. Uh, and then also we are, what do we also want to do? We want Feng Lopes and we want Anubis. We want to get to, we want to get the Anubis as well because my goodness, they are uh, so amazing at yes. crafting in the base and just doing everything quickly. And so we are going to hopefully do some of that as well. Now, of course, recently an update has also dropped, which with it has brought a whole bunch of extra or new things. Uh, amongst other things, if we go into technology here, uh, we can now, so we've got the logging site, we could make that before, we could make the stone pit before, but now what we can also do, um, just wondering where it is, where is oh, it's on the right hand side. Now using ancient technology points, you can also get the ore mining site. Now we don't really have any uh, ancient, ancient technology points yet, Nick has spent hers on, on what, on the... I think on the egg. Egg incubator, yeah. yes. And then I don't have. I only have my one, and I'm saving up the other one well, as soon as I get another one, so we can get the Ring of Mercy as well. That's another new thing that has been added. The Ring of Mercy basically means that I can. You can attack a pal, and you will not drop it to zero HP. That would be great. So then you can just like run around and shoot everything without having to worry about just getting it right and not doing too much damage. You can bring them down to one HP and catch them nice and easily. So yeah, I see President is here. So hello there, President. Hey, Hope you President. are having a wonderful weekend. We are definitely having a marvelous weekend. Yeah, but, taste of winter to come. Yeah, winter is definitely, to some extent, here, uh, which I'm really, really looking forward to. My goodness me. Okay, let's see. Uh, just in terms of, oh, another small little change, but a useful one. If I, if you hold your pal ball, little pal sphere, trying to catch something, you can see there it says five out of ten caught. So we can now easily see how many we have actually caught. Um, I just realized that I should still be equipping my three-shot bow because I don't have the Ring of Mercy. Oh, uh, you see, that already killed the lamb ball right there. So we just see? want to knock them down and voila. Can I do the test quickly where I see if, if I die? Oh yes, so Nick is going to test something. Are you going to go to the mamma race, right? Yes. Uh, just wait for me and we're going to bear witness to that. I see there you I are. I want to there. die and then if they ask me where I want to respawn, I'm going to do that at another place on the map. Yes. So then, I, then I have that um, travel point. Yes, so that's the idea. So that instead of just respawning at our base here, she can respawn up here or up there or there are a variety of little spawn points that she'll be able to utilize. So the idea is she's going to attack that mamma race over there. We're just going to watch from up here. I'm going to eat it with my pickaxe. And then she's going to like instantly die. Ah, sorry, sir. Sorry, Mr. Elephant. Ah. But she's not instantly dead, but here we go. Oh, yes. no, no, no. Okay. Well, it's been mining. It's doing a bunch of logging to, there. To it's die. rearing back. And there we go. Oh, Nick is still not dead. That was your shield, I assume. Nick is holding her own against the mamma race with her swinging her pickaxe, pickaxe profusely. Uh, still Maybe missed. I should actually shoot it. Maybe I can catch this guy. Imagine you can actually like just run around a level 38 boss, Alpha Pal. Um, Mr. Mamma Rest, I'm not doing anything to you. Please, don't, don't come and attack me. There's the one that's attacking you. Engulfed in fire and still alive. 
And there we go. And she's dead. Okay. Oh, hold to give up. All right. Yeah. Okay. See so you on the other side. going to give up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. he's standing on me. Look there. <laughs> I see. Yeah, he's like trampling you. Of defeat. course, elephants. Sorry. Defeat. Defeat. <laughs> you saw four of defeat. So uh, the elephants, of course, elephants in real life, they are really, really hectic when it comes to trampling individuals. Uh, unfortunately, recently here in the southern part of South Africa, there was actually a guy trampled by an elephant as well. Uh, usually the herd is quite relaxed and he had to get them out of the area close to the restaurant, as far as I understand. And uh, then that one day that elephant just decided, well, screw you. And you can imagine an, an animal that's so much larger than the human. They, yeah, you don't really stand a chance when they decide to just, you know, wipe you out. So unfortunately, we have had in the southern part of South Africa, we've recently had uh, one of those events as well, which is not not nice, never nice. We are just going to carry on here on something a, a bit of a lighter note. Just going to catch some sentient acorns over here, the gumos. We've got eight already. Oh, another Lambo. Come on, Mr. Lambo. Just a light little tap, and there we go. All right. The beast in action, everyone says, President. <laughs> yes, she she really really is one of a kind. <laughs> Just going to grab some paldium here as well. Going to need that. And some wood. Shiver me timbers. What have we got there? That's a... Is it the dead one? I think this was a cativa. This cativa is either taking a nap in a very awkward position or it is dead. Yeah, no, that's, that's a unconscious slash dead. We're just... Remove the evidence that I don't think that was any one of us. Not sure whether it was the beast, but it wasn't me. That ring will be nice because I accidentally had so many accidents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. And as President said, that this was one hell of an update. Indeed. Really, really, really awesome update. I am loving all the different things we can now do. And then, of course, soon, in a few months' time, there will be another big update. And I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out there because, as far as I understand, we are going to get some new pals and some new islands. That At would least, be awesome. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe, we can actually head to the big tree that is somewhere in the distance. Can't see it at the moment, but somewhere in the distance. Oh, and um, now let's see what we also now have. There are so many different things we can also make. Um, now we've got the normal ore mining site. Later on, you can get a big one, which is also awesome. Yeah. Uh, of course, there is the raid boss that has also been brought into the game which is if you're really feeling up to the challenge you can do that um you know that's cool and all but what we're level not going to do that be? yet what level would that yeah, be that raid boss yeah that would be i guess a much higher you can do it at any well you can technically do it whenever you can get the altar which i think is level 20 something um we can make it level 20 no uh where is it oh yeah level 33 you can get the summoning altar. So not below, not under level 33. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to... Oh, no, this is way too slow. I'm just going to drop this. There we go. Put everything else away. And then come and pick up the ore here. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Actually, I do see I've got some unused stat points. I can level up my weight that I can carry again. May as well just quickly do that. There we go. Brilliant. Now... What I also have is I've got an egg that I can hatch, so just going to run up there because it is a what? A large dark egg. My money is on Tombat. My money is that this is going to be a Tombat that we're going to hatch from here, but we'll see. And oh no, it's a Nox. Oh, it's oh. a gluttonous Nox. Nox. So unfortunately, a glutton, meaning that they will most likely, I think, feed more quickly or eat more quickly, become hungry more quickly. There we go. And uh, let's just actually set up. Oof. Let's set up some green balls here. Okay, that's going to be good. And someone will hopefully come and work here. Or I can just put this in here. Okay, so where did you respawn here? Um, on, I wanted to go okay. there by the old island. Mm -hmm. um, but then I realized I don't have any clothes for that. Ah. Uh, so I, got, I was to, yeah, you okay. can see where I am. Okay, yeah, I could see you way up at the top there. Yeah, I'm going to go find another respawn point and then I'll come home. Okay. Oh, cool. another... Um... Yeah, yeah, fast travel point. Yeah. So that is a nice strategy to use. You can actually just go um, up and down along with, you know, you can die and then you can... Where's my map? There's my map. You can respawn here and somewhere around there, there will most likely be a fast travel point. And now Nick can travel back there anytime. Yeah. And uh, from there anywhere again uh, as well. So that's I'm quite cool. I'm probably going to do that again. 
<laughs> during the stream today. Quite probably. I may also do that at some point just so that people can see what it looks like. Yeah. It's an interesting strategy to use. I'm just going to now very slowly. Oh, I need a grappling gun. I really need a grappling gun because yo, I am so slow now. Okay, actually, I should just, just have dropped half of it. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Now I can move. Drop everything off here. We need a. Uh, we actually need a chest right here. I'm just going to put up. Um, oh. doo -doo -doo. Ah. I wanted. To, I only wanted to open a chest, but I need a silver key. Oh, that's that. Uh, that sucks. Just going to put a chest up here, and then I can easily just drop everything in as you collect it from the timber harvester and oh, what is this? this is logging site and the stone mining site. There we go. That's what it's called. Okay, so of course, if you see anything you'd like us to chat about, do feel free. To, do feel free to pop it down in the comments. We will uh, obviously be checking as we carry on, and we'll be talking about. Oh, this is Nick's uh, password protected chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll leave my stuff. I'm doing so, my dear. Don't Shoot, worry. No, I don't remember the password. <laughs> Why would I have made it? I don't know. My goodness. That is the problem with Let's having see. a password protected. <laughs> oh no dear okay let's see here my party consists of my lift monk over there which is nice and ferocious so 20% extra attack and that is quite good I think I may actually uh, just yeah we have the statue already up here may as well just level it up I didn't um, I couldn't even remember that we have this mining base already oh did we start that yeah I was oh. like why is, why is the house looking weird <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. I'm just Look at going us. to Cool. I'm just going to cool. quickly level up this little little guy of oh, mine. The Lift okay. Monk has got two extra attack now. Or six or three percent extra attack, which is always useful. Luckily I don't need my own password, it seems. Oh Okay, good. <laughs> oh, and another thing you can also set now is you can decide what should and shouldn't be deposited in the different chests because uh, the other yeah, pals do tend to drop things in wherever they want and whatever is closest and that's not that's not great okay I think we need to defeat another boss like King Paka yeah because we're definitely not ready for Alpha Dran and Pitalia and all those big ones. Fenglope, we could perhaps, we could actually attack or take on Fenglope, dear. Oh, really? Possibly. Possibly, I yes. Want to put some stuff away quick for chests. We're gonna have chests. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know how many we have. Okay, there are three mega spheres there for you, dear. Awesome. I just put in a few more of the blue ones to make, is that fine? Yeah, you can, yeah. We can also, we also do have two Vixies out here that are uh, digging them up from the wooden floors. So should I cancel this rather? No, you can, you make them, it's fine, yeah, it's fine if you, if you make more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem with that. Okay. Let's see here, let's just drop the last few things off. And then, oh, money. I dropped my money in there. <laughs> I don't have any money left. Okay. Uh, shall we perhaps sleep though, dear? Yes. What is your level? My level is level 20. Okay. Yeah, level 20. Almost 21. But we are, we are slowly but surely going to progress. All right. Now, last time we were also looking for mozarinas. We really need to yes. go and domesticate some cow. Cows. They will be difficult to catch, if I remember correctly. Yeah, most likely. Shall we go to the sealed realm of the Thunder Dragon? Not take on Relaxorus Lux yet, because that is a level 31. We're definitely not ready for that. Uh, and then from the sealed realm of the Thunder Dragon, travel down, because we will likely get some Mozarinas over there. Yeah, sounds good. Is going to get on my Mr. Look at my antlers. Oh, oh, Relaxoruses. Relaxori. Where? Right by the spawn point. Oh, look, I must come there. Where are you there? 
Yeah, I am. Um, you know what? You know, if you die. I um, yo. Pop goes the relax alright. Just gonna make them go boom. There we go, okay. I don't want to kill them because I do want to actually... Oh, goodness, I'm almost dead. Okay, I am dead. Can I revive you or do you want to do that thing? Oh, will you be able to catch the Relaxori? I'm gonna try. Because there is another one over here. There we go. Just going to watch... Oh, there we go, Nick has caught one. You know what? I am going to do that. that there thing. we go. Okay, so Nick has caught the second one. And I'll be back in a moment. I'm just going to give up. <laughs> so this is basically, this is what Nick did earlier. So she died and then she just gave up. And then it allowed her to respawn. And you can respawn at any one of these points. So you can respawn up there, over there, Maybe over there, Maybe do the same there. one I did. So if we wanted to travel I think so too. There, you together. were Forgotten Island, I believe, eh? Yeah. Okay. Just going to go to the Forgotten Island. And somewhere oh, right over here, there is a fast travel point. Which is great. Okay, I'm coming back. Are you coming back? Okay. So now I can just very quickly travel up here again. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, nice and easy. Okay, and we got some Relaxaurus, which will be useful to mix with Celery to get Anubis. Yeah, there is another one up there. Yeah, they did kick my butt though. Yeah, uh, that that really, really, they really kicked my butt. Okay, but we can, of course, try and get one, another one. That's fine. I also, I've got three now, I think. Three or four. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, I think let's head south, though, because I do suspect, yeah, we'll be able to find uh, the, the Mozzarinas in this area. Yeah. Yes. Some syndicate thugs there. I saw. Can we take them? Oh, ah, no, they've, they've got a Mamores. They're not going to live long. The Mamores will take care of them. Sure. Yeah, compared to a Fenglo, yes. Mr. Look at my antlers. It's just so slow. So slow. I so almost slow. can run faster than this. I know. One can, one can slide and glide faster than this. Yeah. How many flocks do I have? Only one. Okay. Just going to shoot him in the face. I ran it over for you. I saw. Okay, just... And there we go. The thing is, up until we... Up until the point where we have the Mercy Ring, we need to really mm. um, be careful with not damaging them too much. Which is not great. There we go. Okay, I've got another Fwok. Like a Quack. But not a Quack. It's a Dire Wolf down there. Oh, is it? There's also an Electric Egg. That's well. always nice. May as well grab that. A There's some woolly pops. Oh yeah, woolly pops we don't have yet. Do we need um, them? We could perhaps grab some. I'm going to grab the dire hole as well. Okay. Oh, there's one for me too. Yes, there is. Oh dear, okay. Uh, I just ran forward, okay. Not what I was trying to do, but oh well. I miss my gun. I do, me too, eh? The bow is quite slow. Yeah. <laughs> Just still trying to grab this and my shields are gone now. Ew. Son of a gun. Yeah. Okay. Shield's still gone. Ah, this thing keeps on popping up. There we go. Okay, so of course if this were real... Uh, you see, this is what happens. Man. Okay, well at least you got one. So, of course, in, in real life, what happened is that humans domesticated wolves, uh, I would say quite easily, but definitely not quite easily. It took quite a while for them to domesticate them. But what, what would have happened is they would most likely have fed them, you know, some food and they would have slowly but surely then actually become used to humans, associate us with food and then just kind of chill by us. But come on. There we go. Ah. It's going to shoot you in the... F okay, well, or the Willy Pop is going to shoot you. I am also really missing the gun. 
Hopefully we'll get the gun again soon. Okay. Taking this woolly pop home, he's so fluffy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so what we have here also is woolly pop, which and is basically a sheep, Uma. but... I see. A woolly pop, basically a sheep, but candy floss sheep. So that is... Quite cute. Hey. Uh, oh, come on. I, I, I keep on forgetting that I should first aim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and come on. Oh, man, this oh, is... Candy Floss is not happy with me. Is it attacking you? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll get into the ecology of it all in a moment again. We're just still trying to find our feet here again. Did you catch the other one? I did. Oh, no. <laughs> she shields down again. <sighs> Come on, stay in. Stay in. There we go. Okay. And I've leveled up. The level 21 it is. So that means, let's just quickly have a look and see what we can get now. Because this is going to... Oh, we're going to finally be able to make gunpowder. Probably it's a van worm. Oh, it's not you. Where are you? Uh, I am just where you oh, were. There you are. I'm okay. right up here. Is there a van worm? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't think we're quite ready for a van worm yet. No. We need a better crossbow. Yeah. A better crossbow design. Or oh, uh, schematic. So we we'll, must we'll probably do some that. dungeons for schematics. Yes, yes, we should. We really should. I'm not sure whether we already have. I don't think we've got a lee spunk yet. I don't eh? know if I've got a fork. I've got two. Okay. So of course, as we've mentioned last time, basically like a little duck, but with like a platypus slash beaver like tail. How many frogs do you have? I've got seven. Oh, so okay. you can keep that one. Just going to get this dire howl again. Okay, then I'm gonna go for the frog. Okay, yeah, you do that here. Interesting, there used to be things that were called dire howls, and uh, oh, sorry, not dire howls, dire wolves. <laughs> uh, and initially, it was thought that they were just like massive wolves. Turns out they're not that closely related to wolves. They are, they are canids, so they are related to dogs, but they're not that closely related to wolves. In fact, they were just called dire wolves without being truly related that much to them. Ah, <gasps> oh, this dire howl is a runner. We nice. can we can cross that with a nice malpaca and get a fast feng lope. <gasps> yes, start our feng lope breeding. You no, know, with uh, with some good genetics there. I wish I could see you on my bar. There you are. Yes. There's still so many attacks there. I know. I'm attacking them. There we go. Ramming speed. Ah, uh, yeah. These guys are not so strong yet. The antlers. Okay, I'll just headbutt at you. There we go. Thank you, dear. Uh, there's a van worm, FYI. It's only level 10. Okay, it is going to kick my butt, though, because I am not shooting straight. Difficult on these. Yes, indeed. These. Look at my antlers. Yeah. One can't really dodge with them, it's just like so slow. But I think if we go a little bit south, we should get the bushy... There is a fast travel point here to the left hand side. And then there should be the bushy uh, boss fight. Although we're definitely not ready for bushy, I think. Although, we can try. But we need good water pals, that's what we need. So we need to get some good water pals, bring them over here and then attack. Well, we can go. There's a fast travel. There is one down here that I just was at, and then there is one up here, yes. And I don't then... care anymore if I die, because then I'm going to see the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Just going okay. guns blazing. Okay. So what do you guys say? Should we take on Bushy? What level is Bushy? I think 23. Oh, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> It would be great if we could catch him, but yeah, I don't think we'll be able to. Ah, I see Mozarinas! Oh, sweet. That priority. was actually... Yeah, priorities. Did you get this fast travel? Uh, not yet. I'll take it get it now. Okay. Okay, they are going to kick our asses. 
Possibly. Level 13s. Are you going to take the other one, eh? Yeah. Before it runs away. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to, to uppercut. Oh, no, Ben. Where? Oh, is oh. it? Ah! I just... Oh, man. We need to get that ring ASAP. Yes, if you kill that one. Yeah. I got milk, though. Okay. Now, we can also buy milk. Stop it, Van Worm. You're making our lives difficult. Ah, if I can only... I can't see past Mr. Antlers here. Yeah. Ah, oh, leave me be. Okay, there we go. Trying. And then let's see. Okay, yes. So, of course, here with the Antlers... Oh, there goes the cow. Just rolling through the field. <laughs> <laughs> of course, with the antlers, uh, really, really difficult to move through tougher or you know dense terrain, or at least it would have been for these little ichthyr deer here. But then also at the same time, it makes it difficult for us to really see where we are aiming. Just got a schematic. I want to see what it is now. But now I am under attack. Is it? I think a crossbow too, maybe. Oh, that would be amazing. To see Nick charging in. Doing nothing. Yeah, don't worry, I've been there. There we go. See? Ooh! What was it? A, a blue crossbow. A rare oh, one. Wow! Nice. Yeah, that That's is a very be... nice one. Yes. Okay, so that will make us nice and strong. I don't think we even have in our game, we have the blue one. You wanna... There we go. <laughs> like, um... Do you wanna catch a dire howl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you ready, dear? There's a chest here. Just one second. Okay. Momento. Okay. I'm just gonna check here. Pen gallet. Okay, I can't switch out these ones, but anyway, I've got a pen gallet at least. And I think you want to see mine too. Yeah. Actually, also want to check Tuki Tuki here. The Toko Toko. Yeah, I think that's just fine. I'm just going to use the Toko Toko as an opening salvo of bombs. And then I'll switch over probably to Lift Monk. And then I'll switch over to the Pain Gullet. I've got a Relaxaurus. Oh, that's nice because that's also a water type. Bushi is a fire type. Let's just check. Yeah, Bushi is level 23. Technically, one can, I think, also breed Bushi with Penking. Penking, the boss fight, is up here somewhere, actually. Oh, cool. Um, and you can get Anubis. Nice. I think. So Are you ready? We... Yeah. Let's, right. Let's go. Tuki Tuki. I'm going to need you now. Come, Tuki Tuki. And opening salvo. <laughs> Bombs Get away. Him. Just bombs away, bombs away. Explosive eggs. Who would have thought it, eh? Ah, okay. Relaxaurus is being hit there. Thankfully, I don't think there's friendly fire. Hello. Hey, hello, Bushy. Yeah, there we go. Go boom. Yeah. Okay, Watch so now, shake. next up, we have Lift Monk. And let's use Lift Monk to blast away. While I am swinging my axe furiously in the air. Hit him, little penguin! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and there he goes, my little pengallet. Okay, he is going to, I think, teleport likely soon and do his special attack. Yeah, he's coming for me. No, he was, and then he got interrupted. Looking oh, at me. He's coming for you. Yeah, he's going to teleport, I think. Well, no, he's, he keeps on getting interrupted. <laughs> Look at my elephant go. I know, hey. The T-shirt is going crazy. I'm super proud of him. These little guys are doing marvelously. Ah. They are. Little pink gullet and t -fin. Can you believe it? This is going much better than I anticipated. Ha! But miss! I've it got one his... yellow ball that I can... I dodged his teleportation attack. Nice. 
Okay, bring in your T-Fent. Yeah, it's a 4% for the green ball, so yeah. No, only yellow ball. Is it? Oh, Ouchie. Man. Yeah, that also got me quite badly. I'm gonna shoot him with my crossbow, with my three shot bow when you. It's your turn, eh? Yeah, okay, okay, there we go. Taking turns to throw balls at Bushi. He's on 18. <gasps> no, 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 no. He's on 15 health. Get into my ball! And another 4% chance. Theoretically, I need to throw 25 balls at him for him to be caught. <laughs> there we go again. Just not giving him a chance. I'm gonna eat him with my. Yeah. Your, th your, chance, your time to throw there. Your turn. There we go. Thank you. As he was about to teleport to me. And oh, you've got yay! him! Woo yay! Woohoo! Okay, well. I eat him with my big That was, that went well. Okay, so first thing I'm going to get is not the, uh, it's not the grappling gun, it's not the pal essence condenser, it is the ring of mercy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And oh yeah, ring of mercy. Then, we can go go to town on, on everything with our blue rings, I'm gonna with our blue a, crossbows. I'm getting us a heap lantern. That is quite yeah. useful, eh? Yeah, yeah, that is useful. We don't have to run around to the fox parks at night, yes. Other stuff is... Yeah. Okay. Because we do use the heap lantern. Yes, we do. It's nice to have it there. Just run around at night, no worries. Oh, I need two. Oh, you do? Oh. Yeah. Fine, I'll keep this one. There's another chest here. It's a red chest. Oh. Oh, I don't have a silver key. You didn't by any chance oh. have a silver key, do you? Oh. Ah. Damn. There is an effigy on the other side, but it is past the serpent. I'm not Oh, you're going... out. I thought in here. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 outside. Just going to go grab a damp egg here. Is that a cinnamon? Yeah. Oh, sweet. We should go home now to make that better. Yeah, there are two mozzarinas here, though. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep focus on... Come on, mozzy. Just going to reload and shoot. And shoot. Oh, hello. No. Okay, there we go. Got this one, hopefully, in the ball. Yours is out, ah. Okay, I've got this one. Yay! It's a Vanguard. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> They're actively trying to kill the Mozarinas. <laughs> oh, goodness, look at what's on my back. It's a serpent. Oh. That is a big ass animal. Yeah. Let's try to catch it, shall we? Yeah. Okay, it's probably going to kick my butt. Oh, armor is damaged. Of course it is. Yes. I've been trying we've been trying to avoid the serpents and yet okay, there we go. I've got one. That's our watering at the base taken care of as well. Yeah. Okay, oh. let's let's go home. Let's go home. Because that was an interesting adventure. And then let's quickly take stock of the new creatures we have caught. Yeah. And got. Um, right, I got oh, the Ring of Mercy. That's what we are creating. Hey, Agaliki well. is also here. Hey, Agaliki. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. And let's see here. Ring of Mercy, we need ancient civilization parts. We don't have any. I have five. Okay. How many do we need? Ten for two, so five for one. And what I can do is I I'm can take yours here. and then I can make one for you, so long. No, it's fine, you can do it. It's an ecologist place after all. Ah, no man, no such nonsense. Okay, so there are... The little guy is going to come and make it. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at our new pals. Okay, I really need to at some point set the hunger thing because sheesh. Oh, Shane, your Tuki Tuki is unfortunately unconscious. So I'm just going to actually bring him out. Throw him on the ground. 
Come on. Oh, he can't be thrown on the ground again anymore. Okay. Oh, maybe I could actually put him like that. There we go. And now someone will hopefully rescue him. <laughs> Tuki Tuki is lying unconscious. Anybody going to help him? No? Okay, fine. Like so dear, I'll just put Tuki Tuki in the pal box. Let him recover. You said a straight president. Sorry? The beast knows no mercy. <laughs> <laughs> the beast can be dangerous. With a pickaxe. Oh, pickaxe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dangerous, eh? Doesn't need a strong weapon to go take on a mammarist. You can really have this ring of mercy first, eh? No, my dear. I am very happy giving it to you first. Ladies first, after all, you know? Um, you let's are see too here. sweet. <laughs> what can I now... I'm going to put a nice dire howl in my... In my party. Hmm, that's a good one. Yes. It's only level 5, but it is something. Now, a whole bunch of extra stuff has, have also been added. One thing we can also potentially get in dungeons would be things where we, little manuals, where we get ancient civilization, ancient, ancient technology points. Yeah. So there is that. A good reason we to do to, a dungeon. Yes, we need to do dungeons. Yes. Um, I'm going to make us that bow first. I'll just, just ring. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just getting everything that's lying on the ground here. Well, as much as I can carry, that's almost, that's about it. Okay. Right, so I'm on level still 21, almost uh, halfway to 22. Soon we will be able to get the the uh, Gale Claw gloves there. Yay! Yes, indeed. That's level 23. 23, indeed. Oh, cool. I'm I'm gonna... I might be able to make it quicker than you, so you must give me a Gale Claw. Oh, is it? Um, oh, wow. Are you, what level are you? All the way to number 22. Oh, nice. Okay, I think we're very, very close. But I think, mm -hmm. how many do you, how much do you, uh, XP do you still need? I need 4,010. To be number 22. Yeah. So under player level next, it says their number on the oh. right-hand side if you go into inventory. Oh, no, I'm on my way to level 23. Sorry. Oh, I've got okay, 9,869. Oh, nice. And I'm level 23. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you a girl claw, yes. Uh, I've got a celery, great stuff. We okay. need to collect a whole bunch of celery to breed uh, Anubis. Oh, okay, so we're going to need stone. We need more. We need to make more nails. We're going to need more ingots. 30 each for the crossbow. Okay. And then also for each of the civilization parts. Okay. So we need to do the dungeons first. Yes, we're going to do a lot of dungeons. Okay, good to know. Uh, I'm just checking here at what point we'll get the next forge. Because this is taking a long time on the normal old thing. We've got... Come on. There's the primitive furnace. And then what level is the next furnace? Oh, we can put the monitoring, monitoring stand up as well. Oh, yeah. That is also now so nice. Now you can tell Pels, just do this. Do not do anything else. The chickens, the chickpeas will just be in the farm, for example. Not go and harvest your plants or anything like that. They won't be distracted at all, which is great. Really, really great. So we also really need to start making milk. Yes. Yeah, we'll need to level up um, quite a bit. I can't find the next furnace. I am probably just missing it. Oh, we can't even fix our armor without ancient civilization parts. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. I can I can repair my feathered hairband because it is a very very weak one. Our armor is very close to being. Is kaput. it? Oh, okay. So we will need to go and get some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Defeat some some dungeons. That's fine. We will be doing that. Let's see, so Agaliki asks what's new. Well, we haven't really been playing on this game at all. We've just carried on here. Uh, well, oh, well, that there is a, uh, an eighth third year having a, an interesting quantum episode. It's just kind of phasing in and out of existence. We're just going to look away from him before he causes us to also, you know, zoom in and out of existence. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Le dear, you should come and see what the Vixies oh, have dug up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. How many balls do you have? Um... 69. I've got 156, so I think you can pick that. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. We also yeah. need to catch some Vixies so we can level up the Vixies, because now Vixies can actually catch or dig up balls up to the fourth level. So up to the 
you know, blue, green, whatever it is. There we go. Let's have a look here. So normally they can dig up pal spheres and normal pal spheres. If you now go and condense a few pals, a few vixies into them, they can get, get they can dig up the normal pal sphere and they can dig up the megasphere. If you then condense a few more in, they can also dig up the gigasphere. And if you then condense another 64 into it, they can, I guess, I believe, also dig up the hypersphere. So you can actually dig up a whole, well, you can have one Vixie dig up a variety or a whole bunch of different spheres to catch your pals with, which is really, really great. Okay. Oh, wow. 272 stone in this thing here and another 39 wood in their respective places. Okay. Marvelous. Just drop a whole bunch of stuff off. So, um... Yes. Shall we sleep? John, will you please give me a girl claw? Okay. I will... Um... But I can give you something back like a Relaxaurus or something. Yeah, that would be good. I like Relaxaurus. Uh, let's see here. I don't think... I, you know, I, I've got one Relaxaurus. It's a masochistic glutton. Let's see. Or let's see what I can give you. A left monk? You <laughs> always like those. I do like those, yes. Uh, what I'm going to do, dear, is I'm going to give you a Hydromaniac. Um, I've put it in the in the pearl box, so you can just come and collect him and put him in your inventory. Right. There we go, and I'll just put the lamb ball back. Okay. There what can I give you? Oh, you don't have to give me anything, dear. I'll give you a Relaxaurus. No, nah, I've got a Relaxaurus. It's really fine. You can later okay. on, you can do stuff. Okay, let's see here. There's a guy, Wandering Merchant. He's ready to buy or sell stuff. Do I have anything to sell him? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Low-grade medical supplies. I don't need that. It's just a waste of my space. Okay, so this bookshelf here um, can be all our schematics. Right, let me just check here. Where you, oh, there we go, that bookshelf. Yes, that looks good. Wonderful. Oh, so many things I can just deposit again. And I think maybe we should also go to sleep again. Yeah. Get it to daytime. And then we can start... Oh. Best Anubis. I know. We are going to make a, a an Anubis soon, dear. I just need to get my little cheat sheet out here. There it is. Ugh. My cheat sheet says that we need to a Rayhound and a Nightwing. I've got a Rayhound. I just hatched one from an egg. And a Nightwing, I do believe we can catch easily. But we first need to get more cake. Yes, a wandering merchant. Yes, he just he did just pop up. Let's see what we can buy. We need oh we need something with nice fire. So buy more milk. Um you can, yes you can. Okay, okay. I bought hundred and twenty one milk. Hundred and twenty one milk, okay. Yeah. Nice. Is that enough? The, the problem yeah. yeah, yeah, that'll be enough. Um let's see, we've got wheat, we need to actually mill it. And then we can get Oh, wait, now where's the mill? I forgot where the mill is. This is... No, this is the crusher. We need we need daytime. Let's, let's yeah. just sleep. Okay. It's too dark. We don't have the hip lanterns yet. Too dark. Just... Yes. I should have actually set the hunger off because... Or down because, goodness me, I'm hungry again. Are you sleeping? Yeah, I'm in bed. Me too, sleeping. Okay, why are we not it's, sleeping? Because they're all working. I think it's daytime. Oh, it is daytime. <laughs> yes, we finally got to bed and we watched the sunrise. Okay. I was like, why on earth are we not actually passing time? Okay, yeah, so it is daytime. We should have a mole, right? But if we do, where on earth is it? Do we have one? I don't Maybe we don't. Maybe not. Maybe we need to build one still. We don't have a breeding farm yet, hey? No. We have space here to put one. At the top, maybe. Ah. Okay. I think we should have. Can I build us one? You can build us one, yes, that's fine, you can, yeah. Okay, let me just oh. eat because that's I'm still hungry. Ready farm is huge. Yeah, it is huge. Uh, is it? Oh dear. Do we have another base we can use for breeding or got that one there? No. Let's make a plan. I'm gonna make a plan, don't worry. Okay. What shall I do? How much how many arrows do I have? 158. Oh, that's alright. We've got our first cake ready. Well 
Are we reading first? Anubis. Or thing, thing low play. Oh, well, we can only have one at the moment because it is taking forever to cook uh, cakes. So let's see, uh, President says next furnace is level 30 something. Oh, okay, that, that explains why. Sheesh, why it's taking so why I couldn't find it. It's somewhere. Oh my word, improved furnace is only level 34. Okay, okay. Good to know. <laughs> That's going to be such a long wait. Because in, in uh, the game that Nick and I are playing, we have we are level 40, what now? 43? Yeah. I think round about there. So we, we've got a lot of awesome stuff, which we don't have here yet. Just grabbing a whole bunch of ore. Just quickly. And do we have... We don't have a furnace here, I think. No. Oh, that can work. So I'm just going to bring it back to our base. Don't forget to check the workstations for pelts to be able to collect from them so you don't have to. Um, okay, yes. Let's see. First of all, what I'm going to first put up here is just a whole bunch of ingots. 62 ingots. There we go. Wonderful. Nice. Go work there. You can make the cake. Yes, that's fine. Surely we have got a mill somewhere. But no, we don't. How have we then been able to make cake, though? That's the question. Have we made cake? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here is the mill. Oh. I knew we had to have a mill because you can't make cakes. We've got one cake made and one in progress. And we can't make cakes without a mill to grind the flour or grind the wheat to form flour. Okay. Got a whole little system going. Uh, I don't have anything to sell to this guy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, where can I drop what? Yeah, we definitely need a few more chests. Mm. That I'm going to put there. Oh, and palladium. I'm also going to put in the other place. And the coal as well. Anything coal and wood related go into this chest. Okay. Uh, so let's just change the settings here to uncheck everything. Put stone, ores, wood. I think we should rather ride on our dire wolves instead of the look at my antlers. I agree. Because with the dire wolves you can at least see what on earth is going on and around they, you. Yeah, they're much faster. Yes. Yes, they are. I agree. Okay, I just need pallium fragments. Oh, and yeah? they can make us the saddles. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, Paldium fragments, you say. Well, we can. I've got some here. Oh, you've got. We can also grind a whole bunch of stone. That's fine. I'm just chopping some here. Okay. I don't need a lot. I only need, like, five more. Okay. Uh, I don't see... Oh, there we go. Ingots. Ingots can also now go in. Come on. F, and there we go. Okay. Perfect. Now the base is going on. Uh, let's see. More bell, more balls. And hey, our farm, uh, our breeding pen is ready to utilized. Okay. Oh my! Oh, I thought for a moment I can be little Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever. Oh, no, I can't do what the spider can. <laughs> uh, I was trying to crawl upside down on the wall, uh. on the on the roof, but I can't. <laughs> okay, now what I am going to do is I'm going to hopefully make a little uh, monitoring stand over here. So let's just see where is that? That should be here. Monitoring stand. So over here. As uh, well, that's good. Okay, so from over here we can. You'll see that in a moment. If you haven't seen it yet, it is really marvelous. I'm loving the fact that you can do this now, because this is something that we've been asking, or players have been asking for for so long. And it was teased that they are going to do this in the Discord channel. They did tease this, but you can set each individual pal in your base what you want them to do. Like fox parks. Uh, let's say here, Tombat for example. Tombat can do gathering. It can do mining. It can do transporting, and it can fight. You can select which ones you want him to do or not to do. Now, the problem, children, 
are usually the chickpeas. We don't have a chickpea in here, dear. Really? Yeah. Now we've got two Vixies, and like we can replace one of the Vixies with. Um, okay, wait. Why can't I see each of the Vixies? There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. I can actually check it like this. Okay, we can uh, replace one of the Vixies with a chickpea. This is a conceited one, and that's a nothing one. Okay, so the conceited one, I think we're going to keep that one. We're not going to have it gathering, and we're not going to have it fighting. It's just going to be in the ranch, digging up balls, arrows, and stuff like that. The other Vixie, we are going to get rid of. Yeah. So, uh, we just need to check which one it is. Oh, of course, it's easy, because it's one that is not conceited. Okay, never mind. Coming in for landing. Okay. I can't believe you're almost level 23, dear. Not almost, not even halfway. Oh, but you are, you are further ahead than me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm almost level 22. Okay, come and get your eighth of deer saddle here. Dire wolf or eighth of deer? Dire wolf, I mean. Okay, I was just like, okay, I've already got the, an uh, eighth of deer saddle, but yay, dire hull saddle. Okay, perfect. Chickens, where is that one? I caught one. Artisan chicken. There we go. There's the artisan chicken. And it is going to replace this one. Okay, Mr. Artisan Chicken, you are going to go work in the ranch now. You see, he, okay, there we go. He is actually going off to go graze. But that chicken there, that chickpea, well, as soon as there's something over here to harvest, he will come over here and start harvesting. We don't want that. We want the chicken just doing chicken things, just laying eggs. So, to the monitoring stand we go. And from here, we're going to take that chicken and we're going to set off uh, set off this gathering. And it's not going to fight either. It's a chicken. It's going to stay away from the fights. It's just going to lay eggs. Okay. We don't have a cow here yet. Same with Lambol. I'm just going to take off the gathering. I'm going to take off the transporting and fighting. It's just going to be working to make us some wool. Okay, so what have we got? Uh, uh, Caprity, no farming, just seeding. Okay. This is marvelous. The fact that you can now set what you want each one to do. Now, what we don't have yet is a cow. We've got a chicken, we've got a Vixie, and we've got a Lambol in the, in the ranch here. Let's see what type of cows that I catch. Here are my mozzies. Let's see. Uh, somewhere I should have mine. I've got Did I three. Did not catch any? Oh. Not possible. I've did. got three. I've got a nimble Vanguard heated body. It's just after, if you sort by Paldeck number, it is just after the Dar House and Tokotokos. I took it, took birdies back. I really didn't. There's nothing in my oh. pockets. Oh, my word. Which okay. is weird because I definitely did catch. Something. Yes. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to take that Fuddler and replace it with a with a nimble cow, Mozarina. Very confused. Hmm. That is so strange. Okay. Very, very interesting that you didn't you didn't get one there. Okay, there we go. This one's more finished than watching. One. Where did it go? Hmm. Nick's uh, missing missing cows. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> you saw me catch more than one. I'm sure you did, but yeah, for some reason it's not in your. Oh, and no, I'm too full. Okay, fine. Drop it. I'm gonna go somewhere. Mm-hmm. See that I can level up. Okay. Shall we go and do a, a dungeon, dear? Yeah. Where? Uh, let's see, there should be one, it's technically one by the beach, but now they've actually blocked off this fast entrance to come back here, so we don't want to really go down there. Uh, let's travel to, or, or go past Grassy Behemoth Hill, so at the bottom of this hill, along the beach there, there is a, there is a, uh, place there, a dungeon. Would it be open, do you think? We can always hope. And even if it isn't open, we can get some celerays. Which will also be useful to get. Oh, much better. So much faster. 
Oh, they're running with a dire howl. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm just quickly gliding down the hill. Where are we going? I'm almost by you, then I will show you. I am going to just also get this nightwing. We need to get a nightwing also, perhaps. We can use it, I think, also for a for a uh, Anubis. Oh, I can use my crossbow on everything. Yes, you can. Oh, man, that was a bad shot. Okay, there we go. Come on. Oh, really? Just going to stay out of the way of this Nightwing as it comes zooming past. Ah, oh, that's a horrible throw. Okay. Stay in there, please. Stay in there. Thank you, Nightwing. And I'm hungry again. This episode shall be called Will Fights of the Hunger. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dire Howl. Now, let's ride them into battle. Now, of course, Dire Howls wouldn't really be able to support the weight of a fully grown human on it. But, you know, this is a fantasy world. Anything goes. Are you sure it's this way? Yeah, it's along the uh, beach here. I know there is a spot down here. There we go. Right over there. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I'm well the navigator, remember? Hmm. It's what I do. I navigate. Yeah, it's a level 13 boss. And in we go. I'm just going to take my Flammenwerfer out. Little uh, Fox Sparks. And then shoot the syndicates in their head. There we go. No, 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 no. Listen, guys. You are being doing bad stuff to the pals. We don't like it. What are your... What's your problem? There we go. Thank you. I'll burn you, defeated syndicate thugs. <laughs> okay. There's a Mao here. Yeah. Very much an Egyptian-themed uh, pal that we have here. There we go. So there's the Mao, and it's being caught. And Mao, of course, if you... Wow, that's a very interesting attack. That's probably your I'll burn you that did that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, if you put Mao in your in your base at your base in the in the ranch, they will dig up money for you, I believe. Mm. Not that we really have, you know, are in short supply. We've got twenty two thousand. That's all right for a start, at least. Uh, I invested my money into milk. Oh yeah, that's true. You don't have twenty two thousand. Um, let's actually go and get some stuff here on the left hand side. We are going to go to the right hand side later. Oh, they are Kil Kilamaris. Just going to do that and throw that. There we go. Stay in the ball. Very interesting little floating cephalopods. Or cephalopods, however you pronounce it. I always get confused. Is it a C or a K? Uh, but yeah, basically like massive squid just floating in the air here. We come in. Really, Fuddler? No, Are you one of those? We came in from what side? This side. Yeah, we came in from this side. Okay. All right. So I'm just here on my own. On your own, Chalala. Yeah. What are you catching, Fuddlers? Kiramari and Fuddlers and everything. Uh, that one jumped on out. On a level up. Yeah, so you can get Gale claws. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, okay. Gale claw. Okay, I think that one's in. Okay. There you go. Let's head in here, yes. The navigation. Oh, this is the one where you're going to fall down and then you're going to have to climb up again. At least there is something over here. A chest, you can open it up. Yay. I think you've got generally better. Mega sphere, pal sphere. Ah, oh, I was about to say better luck, but oh well, apparently not. You don't why say the lady's name. Speak at the lady's name. Sorry? I just wanted to say, why you speak at the lady's oh, name? Oh, I did not speak the lady's name. That's why I didn't speak... Well, I didn't speak the lady's name before you uh, before you opened up the chest. So, a bit of an esoteric <laughs> joke between Nick and I and a few of our friends also. We know about the lady. If you've ever read the uh, Terry Pratchett books, you'll know that the in some of the, some of the uh, books there, when the Pantheon of Gods are playing dice games with each other, with the fate of 
human lives, for example, there is this one called only or known only as the lady. And of course, that refers to Lady Luck. And it says there in the books that you never say the lady's name because then basically your luck runs out. So you'll have the best of luck in, uh, in like games and stuff and, you know, gambling and whatnot. And then the moment you speak about lady, or you call ladies, you know, lady luck, basically, then you, you run out of luck. A bit of a ramble there, but anyway, <laughs> that's, that's that uh, speaking the lady's name. Come on, there we go, dead. Okay, I thought there's another little place to go in here, but apparently this is not the way in. So that was the end of that route. So, uh, yeah, President asked, did you equip the Ring of Mercy? Nick has it on. Oh, yes. Uh, we only, I've only been able to make one, not two yet. So when we have another one, then I will also equip. But for now, I just have to very carefully you know, shoot my targets. But Nick has got the Ring of Mercy, so she is just blasting away. Which is Bye. marvelous. Are you stuck? My dog is stuck. Come on, Pooch. Uh, mine was also almost stuck there. Oh That's... my head. What now? And this dog that can't run. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Okay, let's shoot some more Kilamari. There we go. That should do it. And you can get this one, dear. Alrighty. Thanks. Another Kilamari up ahead. Five thousand four hundred to go. Nice. Oh. I'm gonna shoot this one. Yeah, you shoot that one. That's fine. Any oh moment now. Oh my goodness! Any second now. There we go. Oh, don't you want to catch it? Oh, I thought. Don't you want to? Oh no, I I've, I caught it now, but I thought you were going to catch it. I was just waiting for you to to catch it, and I'm like, okay, nothing's happening. <laughs> Yay! Level 22! I finally got there. And uh, let's see here, yeah, we are fighting Pengalets! Andes! A Lift Monk it is! Let me just check Lift Monk, what are your uh, attacks? Oh, nothing yet, okay, just Wind Cutter and some normal ones. Okay. You ready? Yes. And, oh, I, I've killed that one, oops. Okay, you go crazy with that one, dear. I'll shoot the other one in the back there. Stop shooting little ice crystals at me. Got it! Yay! Nice. Nice, so 3,300 3, to go. <laughs> but but I got one ancient Pengalit. civilization part. Sorry? One ancient civilization. One! Part. Oh my word, we should have set up uh, a few more extra stuff. Okay, I've got a life pendant. Uh, so that's more health. And I have the training manual, which is also new. It gives your pal a bit more XP. So you can actually level up. If you breed, for example, if you breed pals, they always start at level one. And if you give them these little scrolls and you they read it, then you level them up much faster, which is great. I think maybe we should go and um, find another boss or something. There's King Paka. Let's do that. Okay. Get some parts for you and for... A, we need... How much do we need now? Five... Uh, mm. We also need ancient technology points. Yeah, so we do need a lot of things. Yes. Because we need to still make the PAL condenser. A PAL essence condenser and we need for the ore mining site. Because if, with the ore mining site that it is in now, it's marvelous because you don't need to now, you know, you now no longer need to base your, or place your base in an area where there are actually ore mines and stuff. You can just base anywhere now. Oh, that is great. I'm somewhere coming this way to get the level point. Okay. I'm just catching pingullets. A diet lover I caught. 
Okay, where are you? You went... Uh, I don't think there way. is a fast travel point that way, dear. One, two hundred meters. Is it? That must be a new one, because I don't recall there ever being one. Okay, I'm coming. In your direction as well, let's see. Uh, Gumos, how many do I have? Oh, I need another two, okay. Oh, uh, okay, well, it's not going to be that one, I'm afraid. I might be wrong, I'm coming back. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, I'm going to catch some celeries here. So, of course, like celery, but not celery. Celeries are quite cool. They are sometimes difficult to actually catch. Um, the attacks can be quite tricky, but there we go. Hopefully that lands. Is that my first celery though? Surely I've got celery already. I think I've got three. Oh, I've got three now. Okay. So celery, of course, like a massive cartilaginous fish. Uh, basically like a like a like a uh, a ray or a shark or a skate come on just get in the ball there we go <gasps> really you naughty okay no i just threw a ball way off into the distance now we need the solar rays to come to land so i can actually catch them but i don't think they're coming okay so if we look at solar ray though Yes, number 23. I, oh, I see your level 23. Oh, marvelous. Okay, so if we look here at Celeray, they're quite cool. I love them. Uh, you can actually see they've got little gills on the side here. So these little two yellow things there in the center, those are, of course, its gills. And that is, they are using most likely what we call ramjet, uh, which ramjet breathing, which is when they keep on moving. And then as they do, you know, if they were underwater, they would be forcing water in through their mouths and out through their gills and in the process fresh water is constantly circulating over the gills which then means that they can constantly get fresh oxygen you know taken up into their in their gills in the blood vessels in their gills i think that is still my one celery over there i still chuck a ball at it come on you naughty little guys yeah that that killed it okay fine oh this wolf really cannot jump eh yeah, I know. There we go. Finally got that one in again. Come on. And celery court. Yes. Okay, a masochist. Let's see. Here. Anyway, oh, there's a chest there. I may want to go for that. Um, let's just run over here and then, I guess, swim over to the giant skeleton, which is one massive well. And I'll show you that to you in a moment. But it's basically a massive whale skeleton that we've got here. There are a variety of skeletons on the Palpagos Islands. But the whale skeleton we can see here. And you can see there's the head. Uh, you can see it's a big baleen whale. Most likely a big baleen whale. It doesn't seem to have any teeth in its mouth. Instead, it most likely would have had baleen plates, which is, of course, what baleen whales use to filter out their food. They'll krill and other microscopic organisms in the ocean or in the, in the water so a big creature like this technically a herbivore because it is filtering out little small uh, plankton and planktonic stuff in the in the water here well technically it wouldn't be a herbivore because krill is actually an animal so it's technically yes it is a carnivore anyway no danger to us though because it most likely would not be going for us it would just be eating mm -hmm. small i can things. see you swimming there yeah i think i'm actually running uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm technically swimming. Fast. Technically swimming. Um, it is using stamina to move there, so I guess it was swimming. I think I see a Memphis behind me, though. Memphis? Hello. Wow. He's just giving me a little hello. Come on, my boy. Come. He was outside in the rain. There we go. A little semi-wet Memphis, because he's been out in the rain a bit. And he has to say hello. Of course he has to. And then once he has said hello properly, hey Memphis, then he'll get something to eat. Again. It's like you have to say hello to everybody on the stream at some point or another, eh? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh. He's such a chilled cat. I but don't no. think I get the recipe before the girl play if I haven't captured one myself. Oh. oh no. It was from level 23. Yeah, it's level 23. I can't yeah. see it. I've oh, got two okay, so you still need to go and catch one. I need to catch one. How? Oh. Hmm. Just going to give Memphis something to eat quickly. At the end of the day, you're probably going to make us one. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm a third of the way to level 23 here. Okay, maybe we should get you a gale claw. We'll get you to catch one. No. That may be the best bet. Why oh, it's so dark? Let's go home first. Yes. Come on, dire howl. Alrighty. <laughs> Memphis, Agaliki says hello to you. Ah, he's, he's just eating, but he says hello as well. <laughs> Coffee. Mm-hmm. Let's see. You ready to sleep, dear? Or are you first going to do something there? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Alrighty. We need a lot of ingots. Then I can make us a metal helm. Can you trade pals? So, uh, President says you can trade pals and it counts. So, uh, President, how, do how, does, how does one trade pals? Because, yeah, guild. I don't know. <gasps> Probably by guild, I guess. <gasps> just... No, I can make you a guild master or I can kick you. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder how one can trade because the only thing we've been able to do is put it in the pal box at the bottom and then have her pick it up. So, uh, President, have you got any idea how one trades pals? So that may just be a button that we've missed thus far. <laughs> Which it would make life so much easier. But yeah, I can't see any. Anyway. A weapons workbench we should also make. What level is that? that oh, there's 60. Oh, level 20. But I'm very slow. <laughs> should, we, uh, should I come and help, dear? Well, I'm going towards the bench to make us the metal helm. Oh, okay. From there by nightfall. Uh, you, can, you can just drop it and I'll pick it up and put it in the chest for you. Thanks. Yeah, because I can carry that no problem. Actually, there is a there's a chest for it at the back here, but I can just drop it in there, and oh. then whatever you don't use will still remain behind. There we go. Perfect. Oh, um. okay. I can make one so long. Oh yeah. And what do you need still? I, wait, before we do that, we have any. We don't have any schematics, say. Eh? Uh, I don't think I don't have any schematics. I see uh, President says you can drop uh, uh, dropping pals from the party. So maybe I should pick one up, drop it onto the ground, and then if you pick it up, maybe then it counts? Maybe. That'll be great if that does count then. I'm just quickly getting more ore for us so we can get more ingots. Yes, these uh, tom tombats are really, really aggro or angry, eh? They, they, even the sounds they make while harvesting is like rawr, 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 rawr. It sounds like a like cats fighting for territory really one of my least favorite sounds and uh, of course whenever the the cats in the in the neighborhood start fighting with one another our doggies two in the morning one in the morning you know those times they uh, they get extremely upset and very very loudly start barking Okay, so let's see. I've got a positive thinker. I'm going to drop that one down for you, dear. See if it helps. Yeah. Uh, dropping it. Yes. Let's see if that works. Okay, there's a new pal captured. Okay. Okay. Okay, now so dropping see. it counts. Oh, my yeah. word. Okay. Well, now we know. Thanks. Thanks so much, President. Appreciate it because, yeah. Yeah. At least now we know. Okay, that that then counts as a uh, as a ca capture. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, they don't think that would count, but okay. Just getting a uh, wow, a lot of stuff here. Well, people don't see it though. Maybe it's at another level. I'm pretty sure I've seen it at level twenty-three. Let's check quickly. Yeah, I can see Gale Claw, second last yeah. one. Unlock after a certain pal has been captured, so it oh, doesn't count. Okay, so you've got the new pal, but you still can't make the gloves until you catch one, actually oh. catch. Oh, well that sucks. Yeah. I'm gonna go catch one now. Yes. Let's just finish these metal helms. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, I'm just dropping a bunch of stuff here. Pell fluids we can also drop off. Okay. And then, how are, how's our cake coming along? Because I know we've had one cake done. Oh, still one cake done. The second one still hasn't, isn't done yet. Okay, we need a, we need a better, uh, a better kindling pal. Let's see here. I don't think we've got anything thus far better than a level one. Sadly. Um, you see what Bushy is. Oh, Bushy! Bushy is a higher level. He's in my fighting party, though. Oh, He's is it? Kindling number two, but I'll let I'll give I'll give her I'll give her a moment. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to put here at the top, just so that Bushy doesn't do a lot of other stuff. No. Then just 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 kindling, Bushy, just kindling. Where is Bushy? I don't see Bushy in the Turning monitoring around. stand. Oh, uh, okay, you've just dropped her out onto the ground. Okay, no, no that's fine. I, that's I fine. made her work. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's fine then. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> uh, I should probably let her work in the base, hey? No, no, no. Put put Bushy in your fighting in your fighting party. That's perfect, my dear. Let's uh, just put Bushy on the cooking though. Because currently she's running around everywhere else. Where she must, where must yeah, 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 yeah. By the by the cake. Oh. Cook. Okay, go pick up your helmet, please. Oh, where's the helmet? Here by this place here. Okay, thank you, dear. Uh, that's much better, I think, than my little feathered hairband. I'm gonna put that on there. And have I got a bedside table, dear? Or not yet? No. Okay. You can build yourself one password protected if you want. Ah, no, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, I'm just going to we're go. We're gonna to move away from this place one time or the other yes yes we are build it yes better. we are yeah, i that's like there where we started our new base now yes i also like that spot you will probably do that that's a good spot it's close to pinking we can go take on pinking yeah. pinking is water type and i've got a very nice strong uh lift monk quickly finishing up my helmet here. yes yeah, yeah that's fine and if you want you can quickly go catch a gale claw as well yeah and then we can go take on Pinking. Oh, which one's first? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I can technically buy, well, if I've got enough money, I can buy a Ring of Mercy for 30,000. Oh, wow. That could work. I'm just going to go sell a few few pals here. I'm not selling them off into slavery. I'm just I'll selling them off. I'll give you some hmm? gemstones and stuff you can sell as well. Oh, that's all right. I'm just selling these little guys. I don't need cativas. I'm just going to drop eh, all the cativas. I need them. Just keep selling them to good homes. Mm -hmm. That's technically what's happening here. I don't need Gumos either. I'm just going to drop them. Hukratis I don't need. Kremis I don't need. Tiefend I don't need. There's so many I don't need. Don't use Kilamari either. Fuddlers I'm going to get rid of. Gluttonous. Uh, Nox. Goodbye. So, oh, I don't need a pacifist salary. No, 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 no. No such thing. Slacker Dire Hull. No. All the ones with the traits I don't need. Oh, there's a runner. Runner dire hull. That's going to be nice. Okay, going to keep that one. Uh, must look at my antlers. I'm going to keep because it was my first mount. <gasps> I've got a swift melpaka. Nice. And the runner dire hull is a female and the melpaka and swift is a male. And they make thing loops. They make thing loops. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be a very, very fast mount. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be awesome. Okay, we're oh, going to do that. The cake takes long, eh? The cake does, yes. Yeah. Oh, we, we technically right. need three cakes in order to get two Feng Lopes. And then it's still not to say that we're going to have the best one, eh? If I die now, don't be alarmed. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I on fire you're, and you're I'm going... running through the wheat field. That's very smart. <laughs> 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 Nick is intending to set our whole base ablaze. Oh my word. Okay, I think that's all I can sell. That's going to be 10,000 and that's going to give me a total of 30, almost 33,000, which is perfect because it means I can buy my Ring of Mercy. They don't even have to spend uh, 
any ancient civilization oh. parts there. Well, that's good. Then we can just go on to making our um, crossbows. Yes. Come on, give me the ring of mercy. Thank you. Oh, that is great stuff. Okay, I'm going to equip this instead of my life pendant. Yeah, that like gives me 61 HP. Pfft, yeah, no, okay. Thank you. So we're going to need... Yeah. Seven more ancient civilization parts. Okay. We're going to need 15 nails. 30 more ingots. 140 stone. Okay, that's easy because we do have the mine going on there. A little bit of wood. Okay, oh, we've also got the logging camp going on there. I'm actually just going to go take our chillet. Try to catch another chillet for us. Because... I'm going to come with you because... Um... Okay. Oh, and now that I've got the ring, now... Lift monk, I can shoot you and I can shoot you again. And then catch you. Okay, so I'm going to just leave Bushy here for now. Okay. Make Bushy work in the base. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Got another lift monk. Oh, it's only my ninth one. Okay, well, here comes number 10. Yes, please. But if oh, we're gonna no. go do a big fight, then I'm definitely taking Bushy. Yes. Although Bushy won't be good against Pinking, though. Yeah. Here we go, just catching all the lift monks. Whereabouts are you, dear? Oh, no. You can... I'm um, at the base. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Should I wait for you? Coming! We've got a newbie pal tamer up ahead. Um, I'm going to take my ring of mercy off. Because what that newbie pal tamer is going to do is he's going to challenge me to a fight. Where are we now? Um, if you just go up the path to where... To where till it is. You'll find me. <laughs> President says just beastly things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beastly's doing what she does best. Beastly things. I see there you come with your dire hull. Oh my word, that's so cool. I've taken my ring of mercy off. Because this newbie pal tra tamer wants to fight. So if you say talk to them, and there are a few of them, uh, oh, now that's a sight. You're a pal tamer, you're a pal tamer too, aren't you? My goal is to become the strongest pal tamer. The very <laughs> best there ever was. <laughs> Get it as your skills in the duel, following the island customs, it would be a fight to the death. That means we'll both be putting our lives on the line. Well, wanna fight? Oh, yes. Yeah, for sure. Now let's make it a great battle. Yes, and now you're going to die. Oh, that's your relaxorus, eh? Yeah. Perfect. And he's got a gun. Yeah, well, he's gonna. He's also going to have arrows in his head. And I've got the power of friends. I wanted to catch him. Yeah. <laughs> I caught one earlier in my game. One of these spell timers. Yeah. Just to be in it. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a swift one. Or <laughs> no, he's an artisan. He's an artisan. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what happens if I can put him in my party and whatnot. But no, you can catch them. <laughs> On my screen, you're riding your wolf backwards. Oh no, uh, I'm like really, really skilled at it all. Just going to shoot Chillet over here, and now that I've got my Ring of Mercy on, I don't have to worry about taking her out. I'm going to just get off my mount because, sheesh. I'm not very good at dodging attacks on the mount. I'm not the best at dodging it off my mount either, like that, for example. Ouch, I jump right into it. <laughs> and there we go, kill it has been caught. It's a vanguard. And that gives another four ancient civilization parts. Wonderful. So we can make one crossbow, basically, I think. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, let's go get Penking. Penking, yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to travel to the west, I think. 
I'm just first going to run to the east and get these lift monks. Yeah. Because they are so easy to catch now. Now that you can just shoot them until they have one health. Yeah, it's amazing. It is. Not so great when you're trying to get rid of the uh, syndicates, but yeah. You're yeah, just dropping down to one health the whole time, but it's something. But there goes another one. Did that one run away? Was it, oh, this is one of the ones that escaped. No, 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 there is no escape. There is no escape. You will There's be our friend. There's another newbie power train over there. Is it? You, you want to take that one out? I think we should. Okay. I'll be coming down the mountain in a moment. I don't even want to know what he says. I'm just going. I'm just like shooting him. No, oh, you're just starting already. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've got my. Uh, I've got my ring of mercy on. Oh. Did you have your ring of mercy on? No. Oh. Okay, I was like, shish, do you kill it regardless of whether you've got Ring of Mercy? Now you can catch that through bunny. There we go. I was just wondering whether you can, like, kill that spell tamer even with the Ring of Mercy on. Oh, hey, bunny. Get into my ball. <laughs> bunny does not want to be caught. Bunny doesn't want to be our friend because you killed our, his her, her master. <laughs> you killed her friend. Okay. Uh, let's head down and over. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Dun -dun -dun -rum -rum. I almost thought these are like massive ribs of like a massive creature, but turns out no, 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 it's just a stone arches. Where are you now? Um, down and up the hill. Downwards? I am basically directly west from where you are. Oh. Yes, there is another dungeon here and it is open. Awesome. Yes, indeed. Very awesome. We'll do this one. It is open for how long? How much longer? Oh, another two hours. <laughs> Perfect. President says tame the tamers. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> uh, Nagaliki says, just when I thought that Pal World was better than Pokemon. Well, you, you've got to have some guys fighting against or b battling against. I guess I had to throw that in somewhere. <laughs> now, there we go. Okay. For some reason, that's the first time I even know about these tamers, eh? They, they just popped in with a new object. Oh, yeah. okay. They are new. I see your dire howl is called wolf. Yes. It's a funny thing because it's not really a wolf. Yes, that's true. Hey, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Now, I've got to wait for my... Okay, you're catching the syndicate, are you? <laughs> I'm to see if I can. Yes, you can. I think you have oh, caught that yay. one. Oh, yay. Okay. Well, you know what? We He's a work also... slave. Yeah. Is that is that is that yeah. literally the yeah. oh my word? Of course it is. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put my weight that I can carry up a bit. I am finally getting some sulfur for us as well, dear. Sweet. What do we do with sulfur? Gunpowder. Once we can finally make guns yeah. or like like pistols, we'll be using a lot of sulfur for the gunpowder. It's Lucy. Paper. Oh, paper that's come ar arrived again. Okay. Okay, little guys, you want to die, do you? Right. Just. Oh, okay, I think I just shot you in the back. There we go. Just bringing them, taking them down to 1 HP so that our pals can easily kill them. Yeah, that's the only negative about the. Ring. The Ring of Mercy, yes. It's when you're fighting the Syndicate and you're like, oh man. I wish it didn't count for people. It shouldn't. People aren't pals. Yeah. <laughs> people... Maybe there's some people who just want to catch people. Are we going this way? Yeah, we're no. going left first to uh, perhaps look for a chest with some nice schematics in. What are they fighting with? A poor little fuddler. Really? Pick on something your own size. 
Okay, I'm going to rescue the Fuddler by punching it in the face with an arrow and then throwing a ball at it. There we go. Here comes some two more syndicates. I'm going to take my ring off just for the dungeon. For now. This <laughs> there we go. Let's see, what else have we got? Oh, there's a place to go in here. Just also getting onto my dire hull. There we go. Oh, that's that drop down. I'm just going to let you do the drop down. Okay. No point in both of us going down there. You can tell me what you find. Many arrows and a mega sphere. Ah, oh, okay. But we also now do have these green mushrooms, the cave cavern mushrooms that have also started spawning. And they, well, you can use them to make medicine. Now, normally or previously, whatever you use, the medicine you use did not actually give you health back. Whereas with these guys, the cavern mushrooms, you can now actually recover health with the things that you make, which is nice. Uh, so that was something that was missing and now it has been rectified. And I love the fact that the cavern mushrooms here are bioluminescent. In fact, a lot of these fungi or these mushrooms are actually bioluminescent. I mean, you can see these blue ones glowing. There are a few little luminescent, most likely fireflies flying around in this, in this cavern as well. And what the bioluminescent fungi would most likely be doing would actually be to attract things to them. Pollinate, well not pollinators because fungi don't need pollinators, uh, but they need some way of dispersing their spores. And they will most likely attract moths and stuff like that, which will be crawling all over their surface, attracted to the light that they create. And then in the process, they get spores all over their bodies. And then the fungus has its spores dispersed, which is marvelous. Okay, um, let's, we are going this way, yeah. Not sure what we're going to find today, but it'll be interesting to see what we, what we go and uh, take on. Syndicate thugs, apparently, that's what we're getting. I'm just going to still, oh, and they are still attacking Kilamaris. Okay, no, Kilamaris. That's going to be my friend. Okay, I caught another Kilamari. That's my eighth one. Nice. Yeah. Oh, more thug, really. Oh, is it? Oh, goodness. Yeah, they come in packs, eh? There we go. That's one dead. Calling the SPCA on you for beating this dog. Yes. Okay, let's see. We're going through there. Yeah. Okay, Dire Howl. We need to give you a name. So, any suggestions for my Dire Howl, everybody? What shall we call this... Awesome, not a wolf. <laughs> Any suggestions for, for the name for the dire hull? So Nick's called hers a wolf because it's not a dire, uh, not a wolf. What shall we call ours? Hmm, alpaca. Yes, okay, so I'm going to bring out Machine Gun Kelly. Well, it's not quite Machine Gun Kelly yet, it is just an elf monk. And now. You just go to town without worrying. Oh, apparently that, that one is dead. Maybe you killed that one. I don't, oh. Uh, you don't have your ring on. Put a ring on it. Okay. Ah. Oh. A muscle head. Oh, sorry, dear. Oops. No problem. Next one's yours. Probably will jump out now. Oh no, or maybe not. Okay. Nice. A pompous shanks is that that one's called. Uh, one ancient civilization part. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow. Like whoa, whoop to do, Basil. What does he do? Okay. Uh, left or right, dear? Yeah, I'm still going for this one. Okay, I'll go for this one. Ancient technical manual, training manual, and a room. A musket schematic. Hey, but that means I get ancient civilization part. Oh, that is true. Yeah, I've got ach, technology points. <gasps> Ancient technology points. I'm going to make us the hip lantern. Oh, that is lovely. We want that, hey. That would be great, yes. Or the ore mining site. Or <gasps> oh, the condenser. The condenser. I think go for the condenser. Yes. Go for the that condenser for now. Then we'll get the... Um, we'll get the other thing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> President says I should call my my uh, dire howl uh, dog. dog because it's not a dog. I shall call it 
was working with that. Oh, I'm hungry again. Of course, I'm hungry. Working with that, I think maybe I should call it Inja. Because Inja is is a Kosa for dog. They were also Africa's national languages. So uh, working with dog, because it isn't a dog, we're going to call it dog, but we're going to give it a, a Kosa name, uh, Inja. I love that word, Inja. 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 Like if you want to, if you want to say or tell people beware the dog, you say Capella Inja. Because Capella is a is a. Well, I don't do the click very nice. My my voice is a little bit. My uh, throat is a bit dry. But uh, the uh, capella is uh, beware or danger. And then inja, of course, is dog. So capella inja, beware the dog. Let's see, I think there is, most likely, yeah, there is, in fact, a syndicate base over here. I know about this one. They're all asleep. Can we sneak in? This one isn't sleeping. No, this one sleeping. is going to be taking a nap in a moment. There we go, a zappy zappy nap. I'm going to call that a zap nap. Just taking down most of the health. <laughs> and then... Come on, really? There we go. Oh, you still have your ring on as well. Mm. There we go, finally. Do you want to free her? Which one? Oh, uh, do you have a bristler yet? Don't know. Let's just quickly check whether any one of, either one of us have it already. I don't even have a Vixie yet. You can really? Take her, eh? Yeah, I don't have a bristler yet. I'll take bristler. Thank you, dear. And the bristler joins the team. And now I am also level 23. Nice. So now I can make us you the Gallic Yeah. Gloves. Yes. Okay, marvelous. Um, let's see. Let's actually teleport to across this chasm. Enough. So we're just going back to where we were just a moment ago for a fast travel point. We'll just travel to across this ravine and we'll go just to the desolate church here. And then from here we'll go, we'll travel northwards. Oh, there's another chest for me here. Wonderful. A training manual, a small one. We're going towards... Oh! The wrong way. <laughs> um. Yeah, you should go up again. <laughs> to the fast travel point. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the fast travel point, and then from there you, you come over to where I am. And I'll we'll wait for you here. Okay, thanks. I'll see what on earth is around here that I can perhaps catch. Hopefully like a Vixie or something. But no, there is a fork and another fork. And a whole bunch of stuff which I can't see to mine. So All right. It's very, very dark. Oh, there's a depresso. So no. We should actually be doing this in the day, but oh well. Well soon we'll have the hip lanterns. There is a Liftmunk effigy up there. Go through that the, over that bridge. Get. Uh Oh, I'm not there yet. Okay, you, you've what? run ahead. I was waiting for you, now you ran away from me. Where? I'm at the travel point. Oh, no, no, I went to the other travel point. There by this oh. little church. Where's Cinnamon? Cinnamon, where are you? I must I come there. Yes, please. Okay. And from here we can go to Penking. Is Cinnamon there by you? Yeah. Oh, okay, because I heard her meowing. <laughs> okay. We will just wait for Nick here. There we go. She's popping up. Hey there, Nick. With Wolf and Inja. And we should be heading to the north. So I think along this road over here, there's a sleeping sparket. We just need to, I guess, head northwards so that we can get oh, to Oh, wow. Pinting. Look at the beautiful full moon. Is it the full moon? Yeah, up, up there to the right. It's clearly behind everything which I can't yeah. see at the moment. There. But where are you? You are there. Okay, let's see. Find you out, are. find out. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the full Beautiful. moon. Beautiful. My you know wolf that's... is feeling extra wolfy tonight. Sorry? The wolf is feeling extra wolfy. Oh, extra wolfy, yes. Did you know that there's a total eclipse in the USA, in the total solar eclipse tomorrow? Oh? 
Yeah, that's quite awesome. Wish we could see a total eclipse, but no, unfortunately not. So we that's are, tomorrow. That's I saw tomorrow. a lot of things like on social media about it. And yeah, they, there's a total eclipse aware. coming tomorrow. Sorry? I think there were people, some people doing some panic buying for it. <laughs> the end of the world is coming again. Yeah. Oh my word. That's the kind of posts I saw. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the, unfortunately, the types of posts that gain traction in social media. But That's yeah. how I knew there's going to be a super scary eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? Uh, we can just see Penking popping up over here, up here on the, on the map. Is that an effigy up there? That green. Uh, yeah, it is. On the other side there. Yeah. Yes. Can well I spotted it. here. May as well grab an effigy because I only have one. Oh, this dog can't get out of the water. Okay, now I can't see. Okay, so I'm just going to take the dire hull off. There we go. Finally, you can see a bit more again. There we go. Found the effigy. Nice. Now, the hip lantern is going to be a very, very, very useful thing here. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to slide and glide across the river again. It's marvelous. Oh, it sucks. I can't wait for <laughs> Gale Thor. I was just like, it's marvelous. And the next thing we just hear, it sucks. <laughs> it honestly does. Yeah, with a, with a parachute, yes. But the slide and glide works marvelously. Especially if you have a Gale Thor. Mm, yeah. I can't wait for Finglope. Oh, yes. Because look at this nonsense. I know. Soon, dear. Soon. Um, right. So I'm wondering more. what the people's going to vote for. I what know, are we yeah. So the poll is up. If you haven't seen it yet, the poll is up on, uh, on the, in the community tab of the channel where you can vote for what Nick and I should be streaming next after Avatar Frontiers of Pandora because we are basically wrapping that up and we're most likely going to finish that one next week next week uh, sunday we will are we be... allowed to vote no i don't think we're allowed to vote here but we have got i think was it four or five well, things maybe we've i got have in already there. voted got... sorry maybe i have already voted oh uh, that's true you could vote i'm not allowed to vote i don't think i can vote in my own polls mm. nor would i want you guys to to make the decision there uh, but we've got small land survive the wilds which is Similar to Grounded, but also very, very different. But you are in a post-apocalyptic world. You are also trying to, you know, you're small. You're a small folk, basically. We did make videos once or Yeah, twice. I think we made like three videos, two or three videos. Yeah. Uh, that was before it really, it was a full release. It was just the, the alpha uh, or the, the uh, early access at that point. Uh, just wait a moment, dear. Just getting everyone ready. Yes. Okay. So there is Small Land Survive the Wilds, that is up there. We've got uh, Grounded 1.4, uh, update 1.4, I think that one is coming out, or 1.6, one of the new update, new update is coming out on the 16th, so that's soon, that is before three weeks from now. And then there is The Hunter, Call of the Wild, where every live stream we do a different map. We have got all the maps, so we'll each week do a different map and look at the animals and you know, hunt the animals on each map. And then we have Green Hell, Green Hell which is yes. very scary. Really scary, uh, but a fun uh, multiplayer game as well. So Nick and, well, actually you didn't have the, back in the day it was only myself with a live, with the uh, episode. So I've made a few episodes, that was before we even got to a hundred subscribers. So it'll be fun to do that one again. So if not this time around, you know, next one maybe will be Green Hell. So if you haven't voted yet, go and have a look there. And let's head in there. Okay, come on, little Luff Monk. We are blasting everyone to smithereens. And he's not the time. And now, now. Cinnamon is going meow. Come on, little ones. Okay, come on. I just want to shoot you guys a little bit. And then you, you, you're busy with the big pengal, a uh, pinking, eh? Yeah. Hey, listen, I, mean, I hear you, but I can't give you anything now. We're fighting. We're in a battle is for our lives. Is your pal out? No, my pal is not out. You want to try to catch him? I'm going to uh, throw once more. Okay. Is you? Okay. Or not. Okay, perfect. I Wonderful. stole it from you, I'm sorry. Yay, you got it. Yeah. Nice. Cinnamon, where are you? 
Yeah. Where is she now? By you? There she is. Oh shit, I'm not. So the wants this wants to say hello, so I'm just gonna pop down for a moment. Bless you, Nick. I know she's running to her mother. Okay. Sunny. She just wants attention. She maybe a little bit of food, but most likely after attention. You guys heard her last week. You cinnamon. So she just loves attention and with the rain that we've had now, oh my word, she's just been indoors the whole day and actually enjoying it. And we've also been enjoying the fact that she's just indoors the whole time. Okay, yeah. you ready there? Yes, I've got four ancient civilization parts on me. Nice. Okay. I think we should head home and go get our Gale Claw things. Yes! Finally! Make at least one crossbow and so on and so forth. Yes! That sounds like a good plan, dear. Oh. And then we should also, hope, hopefully we'll also get... Well, we must decide. Do we want Fenglope or Anubis first? Fenglope. I agree. What? Okay. 100% Fenglope. Hello, chicken. Join, join my flock. <laughs> All right. Oh, we finally, we have more or less explored this entire area. We haven't explored that tip over there, that peninsula. We'll explore that after we actually have a thing lope and it is much easier to traverse everywhere. How much cake will we need to... Um... Three cake to get two thing lope. Okay, we have two cake here. Or do I you know. have more in your pocket? We, no, we need more flour and we need more honey. That we okay. need. Cool. Now I just need like twenty more stone that I can make one um crossbow. Okay, I'm just dropping everything in here and I'm dropping in sixty seven stone. Wait, let's start that. For a moment I thought I had a sch oh, I've got a schematic, it's a musket schematic, if we don't need that one yet. Hey. We don't need that one. It's a nice gun, but it is extremely slow firing. Nice for if you just want to single shot everything, but it takes a hell of a long time to reload. A cake, of course, won't spoil while it is in this breeding farm. Yeah, it does say 20 minutes, but it doesn't count down, which is marvelous because it means we can just carry on with our lives and not worry about the cake spoiling. Because otherwise, the cake becomes a lie. And I'm just going to hmm, make some marinated mushrooms. And then we will need to just make sure that we get honey. So we'll need to go and get some honey, honey. <laughs> For? Uh, cake. Four. We need two honey per cake. Okay. Just getting, cooking some food for myself here. Getting one more hypersphere. Okay. Oh, shame. It's taking a long time to marinate some mushrooms. <laughs> I'm wondering now what we need to level up our base some more. Let's oh, see. yeah. Let's let's check here. We need a weapon workbench. I was busy. I think getting everything for that weapon workbench. We need more ingots and we need nails. You need to focus on the gale claw stuff quickly. Oh yes, that's that's what I need to focus on. Okay, yes, because now focus, honey. I'm there. Thank Stop you, dear. With your you see, that's why I have you. You you help me focus, my dear. You help me focus. Uh, Gal claw gloves, and there for that we need cloth, a lot of cloth, and some peldium fragments. I'm pretty sure I set the water pels to. Oh, they haven't done anything yet. Really? Come on, do something with the water here. We need to grind to crush down the rocks to make some peldium. We'll get some peldium. Oh, go. Gonna get some. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and harvest some in a what moment. The rocks you're gonna need. We need a lot of cloth. We need a lot of cloth. Yeah, the scarabs will take forever. I know. Anubis would be so useful. Okay. Hopefully, someone will come and craft in a moment. I think I may have set. It's so that nobody does handiwork. Really? Maybe. Let me just check up here. Oh. <laughs> um, handiwork? No. Bushy should be doing that. Yeah, Bushy And Pengullet also. Just me and me, little monk. You can put Peng King instead of Pengullet. Uh, they bet he's better at doing any everything. Oh. Oh my word, there are so many spheres and wool and everything in the ranch again. That's awesome. 
Okay, I'm on the Paldium run. Let me just quickly check how much do we need again. Uh, level 23, we need 60. Okay. Just going to, there seems to be another visitor heading towards our base here. Okay, cool. The Cativa and Dinosum are fighting. Why? <laughs> Why are you fighting? It's like, oh, well, okay, never mind. It's not a fight anymore. The Cativas are both dead. <laughs> the Dinosum just, like, completely obliterated them. Okay, you know what? I need chickens. You need Caldium. I need that as well, but I am running past. The chickens are running past me, so I may as well grab them. Let's see what I need to build the condenser. Oh, yeah. Is that also useful? Sure. Five ancient civilization parts, 20 ingots, and 20 palladium fragments. We really sure. need to get some ancient civilization parts. Okay, that means a lot of dungeons and a lot of uh, boss fights. That's quite fun. Oh, I'm hungry again. Grilled chickpea, that is what it is for dinner. There we go. I think I've got enough palladium now. I have 46. No, so I don't have enough. Okay, come on, Mr. Mr. Inja. Okay, there goes a Lambo dead. Everything is just this chaos by the base. There's a Dinosum coming in to fight you guys, just FYI. Because someone attacked a Lambo and in the process hit the Dinosum. Okay, chaos is breaking loose. Yep. That is indeed happening. No, I don't think I can hit. No, I can't hit anything from up here. Fine. I'll jump down. Oh, okay. Well, wow, one pallium. The dinosaur dead. I don't know. Uh, uh, Looks like it. Damn, wanna go catch it. Ah. It doesn't really stand a chance in the base of 10 pals. Mm hmm. But yeah, I think I'll have enough of the uh, Paldium fragments in a moment. I've got... Yeah, I've got 62. That is enough. Just grabbing some things. <laughs> like this chest over here. We're halfway with the crossbow. Oh, yay! Oh, wow. This dar hall is really quick running behind me here. I was sliding down the hill and just like runs up. Of course, wolves, or well, in this case, not a wolf, uh, injas are made for, for quite a big, big burst of speed. Some of them can run for quite long distances, like the African wild dog, for example. Sheesh, those things are, are stamina hunters, eh? Uh, wolves also, a lot of dogs actually very good at long distance sprinting uh, and running at quite a bit of speed as well. Definitely able to catch up to us, so no chance of us escaping from a wolf if they were to attack us or in this case a dire hull they would come after us very very quickly let's see here dropping a few things in here just making sure that i'm emptying my pockets again yeah there we go i think everything else i can keep or sell how do i make nails by the workbench uh, yes, by the workbench. Oh. Making 48, is that fine? That is perfect. But then yeah. I'm using all our ingots now. That's fine. I can go and harvest more metal and we can make more. No, let's not make that many. <laughs> okay. This base is, is working. It is coming along, but... Yeah. Now that of course now of course that we can make the the ore pit. Now it will be even easier to just set up a massive base somewhere and just have oh once we have Anubis, that's going to be a game changer. Because that will allow us to just go crazy in terms of everything. Did you um put your ancient civilization part away? Um no, I've got five on me. That's very smart. I know. I was keeping it for a rainy day. 
Oh, okay. You don't want the crossbow. No, no okay. crossbow for me. All right, no problem. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll bring it now, dear. I don't think there was a, a uh, chest that it automatically dropped into. I'm just going to drop it in here. There we go. Okay. Oh, the bushy is done with making 10 more ingots. Great stuff. Okay, now there are 38 ingots again, dear. Okay. Yes. Um, I just quickly want to check. In terms of the Gale Claw Gloves, what do I need? Gale Claw Gloves, we need more cloth. Okay, we need 20 cloth in total. There we go. I'll have enough. <laughs> and then... We'll just make this. Oh, we don't have any... Oh, we need... We need a lot more. We need another 19. Cloth. Yeah. Okay, Lift Monk, please work on this while I go work on some cloth. I don't know why nobody else is working here. I think Bushy no. is just running around. Maybe Bushy can't actually fit through here. Yeah, and he as is I Bushy. say that, here comes Bushy. No, Bushy is just lighting, lighting the fire. Bushy, <laughs> you, you need to be working here. Like, come on. No, oh, you wanted her to kindle. <sighs> Yeah, but I haven't set Bushy to just Kindle, I think. Bushy can do a variety of stuff, except this one can't. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's busy. She's on a short break now. The Lift Monk is making a crossbow. Will's making cloth. Nick is making a whole bunch of nails. Another Lift Monk is crafting the Gal Claw gloves. We're all just slowly but surely making stuff. I can't believe how long that crossbow takes. I know. <gasps> What now? We should make a thing loop. We should. We can make one thing loop. We don't have uh, enough honey to make another cake to make one more. But we can make one. No, we should probably keep it and make two, eh? Hmm. We can rock, paper, scissors, ching, chong, you, you, ladies first. You can take the, the uh, you can get the thing loop. I can't, you can't just loop. ladies first me the whole time. I can and no. I will. Yes, I can. Then you take the crossbow first, mains first. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the crossbow first and you can take the thing lab first. Okay. Okay. So let's just check here. Oh, we need another eight nails and then we can I can make a weapon work. Hopefully that for us. thing lab doesn't come out with negative traits. Hopefully not. I'm going to make us a weapon workbench, then we can level up the base tier. Hmm. That's why I'm making the nails. Okay, yeah. You have enough there. Yeah, 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 I've got enough. You know what? I'm going to make everyone else make it. Oh my word, this ga these Gale Claw gloves are taking so long. Let's see. Who can we put in the base and who can we take out? I think we can take the Vixie out for now. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put uh, the Runner Dire Howl in the Vixie's place. And I think we can take the Rush Ore out as well for now. We'll put the Melpaca yeah. in its place. Come on, everybody. Melpaca, come back here, please. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Base level 12. Well, the fluffy pal bait, deploy a work pal to the base. I can do that. Okay, perfect. Who do we need? What element of what? Okay, oh, so hands. we've got the Maybe. Melpaca here. I put the Vixie back. We need. Um, sure, that's a good question. Who have we got currently working in the ranch? We've got a chicken, a lamb ball, and a cow. Uh, may put the Vixie back, I think, for now. Uh, well, I'll, I'll... Have you got a nice Vixie there? Hooligan and a massacre. Okay, Hooligan is worse. I've got a Dainty Eater. I'll put the Dainty Eater in. I think it uses, yeah, it loses hunger for slower, more slowly. Um, what did we put in the dire hull? Dire hull will be where? Where on earth is the dire hull? Have you seen the dire hull, dear? Oh, there it is, running around. I don't know what the dire hull is doing, but the dire hull is over here. Okay, come on. Hey, your um, 
crossbows ready. Oh, wonderful. Okay. If you can, come and get it. Are you close by? I'm just putting the dower hull into the breeding pen. I can actually just take it and drop it for you. Okay, that's fine, yes. Okay, what do I need? There we go. Love will now be blossoming between the the swift malpaca and the runner dire howl. Oh, marvelous. Cool. Okay. okay, finally, we've got the breeding starting. Nails I need. I need some ingots. That is for? For another crossbow. Ah. Okay. Ah, fine. Ah, the bushy helped to make one cloth and then ran away. <laughs> I think Bushi is afraid that they're going to just ignite the cloth that they're making. How's the Gale Claw gloves coming along? I don't know. But there we go. Bushi is finally making another cloth. Come on. <gasps> Made like three quarters of a, of a cloth and then ran away again. Bushi is a horrible worker. <laughs> but I've got 20 cloth. That's fine. I can make another Gale Claw glove. But we first need this one done. Oh my word. It's so slow. Shooter scooter. Is that your uh, no, lift monk? Lift monk. Shooter yeah. scooter. <laughs> oh my word. I think I'm going to call mine Chip. Cool. Lift Chip. monk, you shall be called Chip. Chip the lift monk. And if we get another one, I'll call him Dale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, since the uh, Memphis, you can't eat Cinnamon's food. You naughty! Because the leaf monk or leaf monk over here is obviously based on a chipmunk, just a leafy chipmunk. It is called chip. Let me go. Uh, let's see. I probably need to feed everybody again. You've called it kale chip. Kale chip. <laughs> uh, we can make some grilled chickpeas here. That's going to be. Oh, that's so quick with the with the bushy doing something for a change. I'm going to eat. Chip's going to eat. Everybody's eating. That's hungry. There we go. Thank you. When you're ready, you can always come to me, then I can drop your crossbow. Oh, okay. Whereabouts are you, dear? Oh, there um, we go. No, that's not you. Are you on top? No, I'm just here. By the statue, basically. Oh, there you are. Hello there, dear. Yeah, you can drop the crossbow. Thanks, dear. Wonderful. Okay, I'm just going to put this... Oh, wow. It's like a massive increase from 280 to 406 damage that we are doing. Oh, that's marvelous. Honey, look at me. Wait, where are you? Are you on top? Whee! Oh, wait. Oh, you're on the Gale Claw. Whee! Have you got a Gale Claw glove? Yeah. I can't even see you. You're so fast. I picked one up. It was just lying on the one bench here. No, that's perfect. That's where it was being made. <laughs> okay, so I'll make the second one. Finally. I can't believe it's finally done. Wait, where are you, dear? Zoom, zoom. Wait. Oh, we can make two ingots. Wow. <laughs> Whee! Off she goes. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. I love the Gale Claw. It's just Ooh, such a massive increase. We've got a mining base. Yes, we do. I'm going to go get some ore there. Perfect. Actually, we can take these and I can just very, very slowly. Um, I don't want anybody putting any of the... Um, I don't want them putting stone or ore or wood into this chest. That must all go into this chest. So one of the things that I've, I've really been waiting for is the ability to actually change what goes into a chest. And oh my word, I'm so thankful that that actually came in with this update. That is so awesome. Okay, so schematics are in this bookcase over here. So I'm just going to drop the musket schematic in there. And drop some nails into this one, I think. Yeah, let's just drop all the nails into this one. Perfect. Okay, and whoever wants to craft stuff can craft stuff now. Oh, that Those Gale Claw gloves are taking forever, but I can... Ooh. Yeah, sorry. No, no, no worries. What I can now do is I can go take on the bee guard. Oh, yeah. To get some honey so we can make more cake. But you'll be fine on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll be fine. The first uh, egg is almost ready, dear. Let's oh. go. And, oh, it's almost nighttime, though. Maybe we should just first sleep when it becomes night. 
Um, just quickly about the mining base. Mm. Are you uh, running out of uh, things you can carry? No. I put up a furnace here to come on, make some. Oh, nice. Okay, yes. I wonder if I put a bed here if I can sleep on this side. You would most likely be able to. I'll check now if I can make it. Uh, I'm putting an artisan uh, fox sparks in here. Ooh, I'm making 214 here. Obviously oh, wow. now one of us needs to stand here. Otherwise they're not going to make it, or are they? I don't know, I think it will systematically be made. I think where the problem is, is that they don't mine all the ore, and they don't do those types of things if you're not at the base. But if you are at the away from the base, I think the... Oh, we need another bed here though. Okay. Yeah, at this mining base. We even have one. No, we don't even have one. Oh! Yeah, oh. a bed. Like, yeah. like a, a, a pal bed, sorry. Yeah, I'm making one. Oh, that's going to be good, thanks dear. Do we have a chest here? We should have a chest somewhere, right? Eh? Oh, here it is, here it is, found it. Right over here. Just gonna drop those things in. Okay. And we can now go sell our old crossbow because we don't need that anymore. Hey, you're welcome to look in the chest and sell whatever you want. Oh no, I'm alright. I just wanted to uh, empty the space. You know, make some space but in for my... the future, you know? Yes, thanks dear. Make some space here, get rid of the crossbow, I can get rid of the feathered hairband, I can get rid of the life pendant. Okay, almost 3,000 of them getting there. If I wanted to sell... Oh my word, marinated mushrooms will go for 30 each. Well, that's like nothing. Okay. Let's just quickly check on, in on our friendly pal merchant at the top here. To see what we can potentially buy. What pals need a good home, dear sir? Have you got any that I would like? We've got a Toko Toko here, a Lamb two Lambos, a Univolt, and a Loop Moon. None of them really pick my fancy, I'm sorry, but I'll be back again tomorrow to perhaps go and come and have another look at your pals that need a friendly home because, well, that's what we're going to get with us. A very, very friendly home. Hard work, but a friendly home. Let's see. You ready to sleep, dear? Cool, I need one more nail, then I can make my crossbow. And we're working hard nail. to make this, these two nails over here. Teamwork. Okay, there we go. There are your nails. Sweet. Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Hey. I'm ready. Okay. Also going to sleep. And then in the morning, you should be able to get your thing loop. Nice. And the visitor has also left the base. Bye, visitor. Who has left the base? Go. I'm getting hungry all the time. It's working my nerves. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's hope for a good thing. Fingers crossed. Yes. Hopefully it will be a, a swift runner with no bad stuff. So you've got your normal egg there, eh? Yeah. Here and here we go. Feng Lope coming up. Swift, runner, workaholic and Zen mind. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. That is perfect. That is a perfect one. So now that they have used that cake... Oh, love is still blossoming, but it won't actually lay the egg until we put another cake in. So... We're going on a little adventure, dear. We are. We're going to go hunt some bee guards. So they should be over by the Mosanda Forest. All around here, I think we should be able to actually get them. I think they're by Cinemoth, Cinemoth Forest. We should be able to get them. Just going to get my crossbow out. Because... Gale Claw. I hear a Gale Claw. Hello, Gale Claw. Uh, zoomy, 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 okay. Come on. No, 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 no. Listen, guys. Come on, stay in the ball, please. Stay in the ball. There we go. Wish these girl claws are still oh, uh, strong, eh? They must first make a thing of saddle. Oh, my word, yes. Oh, my head. Oh, I forgot. You still need the thing of saddle. 
Third day. What level do I need to be for that? I don't know. You need to. You need to check. Maybe like. Okay, 30... two more levels. Twenty-six. Is oh, is it? Okay. Right. That's that's not too bad. That's all right. Okay. Well, at least you already have one. Oh my word! There's a Robin Quill. Are you waiting for me or? No, I've I've got two Gale Claws while waiting for okay. you, dear. Are you waiting for me? So I should come there. No, I don't think you have got to. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out what on earth is happening here. There's a shield. Oh, okay. There's trying some to... kind of little... Uh, right there in the corner, there's some kind of shield icon. And I'm not sure what that is. I'm trying to fix oh, there my, we go. My, get my... No one know. else is working on the thing. Yeah. Okay, I just realized what that is. That is probably due to whatever I ate. That Yeah, there we go. Marinated mushrooms. Eating it improves defense by 10% for a period oh. of time. Oh, yeah. So that is that little shield icon i had there okay okay now it oh, makes sense i've never seen that and nor me uh, i haven't seen that either that's quite cool oh there's actually a dungeon over here that is closed mm, maybe i should just come there because it's like forever oh, no no you can wait for that forever. oh okay oh you don't we don't have to kill uh, uh bee gods we can get cinemoths mm. Just gonna try and catch them. That's no, much easier. Much easier. Much, much easier. Come on. Uh, okay, fine. Ish. Okay, this is not going quite as planned. I'm coming there because this is boring waiting for my. Oh. Because it's important. Okay, I'm going to get off my dire hole because I really can't. Goodness, I don't even have a flyer now. I have a rider, a riding thing. Oh. We're catching them or? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to catch because that gives us that, you know, those 10 to level up. Like your girl claw? Uh, no. That's a wild one. Maybe I should catch my first girl claw finally. Yes. There we go. Get into my ball. <laughs> oh, there's another one. He's not happy. Is it? Oh, I see. Come on, little one. We're gonna catch you as well. Hmm, finally. You caught it. No, nice. Again, tells me new new cow captured. Is it? Huh. Weird. Come on, you still um, have too many too much health left. Okay. You think I should go get my my wolf to ride on first? Maybe I'll I'll still be here. Okay, I'll be right back. Sheesh, this girl claw is a high level and it is just kicking my butt. Come on. But I think it, I think it's got like a two percent chance of being caught. Uh, there we go. Finally, just as I'm telling you, this is, this is the likelihood. I catch it. Okay, perfect. Uh, there's that robin quill still okay so we're not going to go too close to the robin quill if we can help it but we are going to just wait for nick here right by the fast travel point and then that what have we just caught we, we just caught our gale claws again the gale claw of course here yeah, typical bird i mean you can see here the big feathers it has for for flapping propulsive flight and that is how it will be flying around it doesn't hover it's too big to hover true hovering is really confined to smaller birds where they actually are able to move their wings in a figure eight form you've got hummingbirds of course they're famous for hovering and then you've got things like the pied kingfisher here in south africa i think that's one of the largest birds that can do true hovering with that figure eight uh, fla flapping of wings uh, what all other birds like raptors for example if they're hovering in place they're actually just flying forward but at the same speed as the wind is blowing from the front so this eagle over here the gale claws you will see them hovering around in the and say hovering in inverted commas here you will see them hovering around but what they're actually doing is they are flying forward in exactly at exactly the same speed as the wind is blowing from uh, up ahead 
that they're not truly falling, they are just moving, but not forward. Okay, we're just going to try and get the Cinemoth as well. Come on. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot. Um, I'm going to get off my thing again. Because I can't dodge. There we go. Ish. I may die here. Oh, I can't wait for the gun. I know, me neither, eh? Actually, you know what? Screw it. Toko Toko, do your thing. Let's go boom. Thank you. Okay. Oh, do you want to die or should I help you? Uh, you can help me, I think, if you, if you can. Just the little dire hole, hole kill them, I think. Because, yeah, we are uh, getting our butts kicked by these guys. There we go. Yeah, it, it was killed just as huh. you threw the ball. Wow. Okay. There's some main there. Yes, there are. Some free pal alliance buggers. Also some another girl claw. There we go, that's one dead, two dead. Oh yes. Perfect. Okay, there we go, that's one. There's another girl claw over there. Oh bunch of girl claws for us to get, eh? You're also catching the gold cloy. The one that popped out, yeah. Yes. Okay, I've got this one that I'm also trying to catch. It's got a 4% chance of being caught. Okay. Gonna go for, for a green ball in that case. At least it is a 25% chance. One in four chance of actually catching it. Yeah, they're really difficult with the blue balls. Yeah, they are. Okay, got it. I My see a notebook one. on that side. How is it? Marvelous. Okay. Just again, I've got two honey on me. I was just about to ask. I've got four. We could technically go back for now. Is it? Okay, let's yeah. go make a thing loop. Yes, let's go make more thing loops. In the meantime, I'm going to try and up level up as quick as possible. Hmm. Yeah, so that you can get level 25 for the thing loop, eh? Um, 26. So okay, 26. I'm one and a half levels away. Okay, nice. So then we have two of the things we can tick off. We've got bell claws and we've got the oh, thing loads. Yes. Although I don't have girl claw yet, I've got parachute. <laughs> Did you get How's your new bow though? Oh it's marvelous. It really nice. is marvelous. Really great. Uh it does uh, quite a bit of damage there. Where should I put this honey? I'm gonna Right on the floor, yeah. <laughs> yes, thanks, dear. Really? No one worked on my crossbow? No, Jeez. nobody worked on the other thing either. They are terrible. Okay, Bushy, you are going to be making cakes. That's what you're doing. Ha! Huh, no work available. Come on. You just bunched against the rock, or against the roof. Come on. You can always take the work slave out. There we go. Fixed assignment to the cooking pot. Finally. Um, okay, we don't have enough metal for ingots. So mm. that is also alright. At the other base there's a yes. lot. Yes, yeah, 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 they should be there. Oh. Okay, Tuki Tuki needs to go back again. Cinnamon decided to lie on top of my leg. Oh, is, it? is she lying on top of your legs? And let me guess, you're overheating and uncomfortable. I'm just a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But it is so sweet when she does decide to lie on your lap or anywhere on you. That's me because I would have already thrown him off, but it's yes, cinnamon. It's, it's like cinnamon. all the love I can get because there's so little. I know, she's like very, very aloof. That's what she is. Um, let's see, have we got anyone with a uh, handiwork of two? 
No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think everybody is handiwork of one that we have thus far. You pinking? Do we have a pinking? You've yeah, got it's working. It's doing something. Probably watering. Oh, it's standing it's here. It's currently eating. Eating. Yay. Come here. Stop eating. And go and work. Here. Oh, they are so naughty, these. They are. Bloody pals. I know, they're like, okay, now, sorry, I bumped my head against the roof. I don't know what I should be doing. If they're in the party and we throw them at something, they in the house. Then they work. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I should just quickly replace. Let this, I'm just going to put him in my party. Because I've got an empty empty spot. Just make the gold claw gloves, please. Where are you going? Maybe there's not enough space between that table and the furnace. Oh. Let's see. It, maybe, maybe it says he is working, it's just going to work from outside. Yeah. He likes working from out there. Okay. Makes okay. sense. There he's done. What is he doing? Hmm? Oh, now he's on that side. Is no, he he's, still he's, working? Yeah, he's working from outside. He's, wor <laughs> he's he there by the stairs. He prefers working outdoors. He Which? doesn't work from home, he just works from outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. My crossbow is halfway. Oh my word, look at all these marvelous balls. <laughs> that sounds so good coming out of your mouth. <laughs> That's what a, a wife wants to hear. <laughs> and there's our uh, not safe for work but for tonight tonight's stream. Hey, not really. <laughs> to each his own imagination. Mm hmm Indeed. Alrighty. Okay, I've got girl claws. Uh, gloves, I'm going Sweet. to bring the pen king to come and help with the crossbow instead of your little shooter scooter. There we go. Oh, this is much fun. Yeah, and I'm also helping. I am contributing. Yay. And put a little... Oh, there we go. Lift monk is just... Ca scooter, shooter scooter is just making some cloth for See? us. See? Productive. Yes. Finally, everybody's working. And old bushy there is just cooking cake. Baking cake. Well, technically, wait, wait, that one is cooking cake, but it should take be baking. forever to make that saddle as well, but it's okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe by that time we'll have an Anubis. Maybe. Because we just need one for you that's good enough. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Pinking and Bushy. What? Make an Anubis. Ah. Do they have good traits? I think they're all right. Um, yeah, either way, and it was just so fast. Yeah, as long as they're not slackers, and unless, as long as they're not, like, um, yeah. Bushy is an artisan, but also a slacker. But still, artisan is fifty percent work speed, and work speed nine, th minus thirty percent for slacker. So it's still a, an okay, increase a of twenty. And uh, then Pinking is just the Hydromaniac. <laughs> so if we're lucky, we'll just get the Artisan trait mm. passing through and not Slacker as well. Mm. That will be marvelous. I'm almost finished. And almost I'm just going done. to help you wrap it up. And voila, you have another crossbow. Sweet. Actually, I think it may have been faster to make it here at the weapons uh workbench over here oh, really? i'm not sure whether it is but maybe it is a specialized workbench after all i'm not sure whether it is faster or not okay now thinking you are going in no but you need our newest first yeah yeah yeah. but thinking is going to go oh. up for breeding soon. soon i'm hearing a lucky oh yeah you hear it too i don't know what it is I heard it. It's down there somewhere. It's down there, it's a cativa. It's the cativa. Oh. Well, you get ancient technology points for... Uh, oh, ancient civilization parts for catching or killing it. So there is that. Oh, my word. Yeah, that was a quick one. Hehehe. <laughs> You heard it, shame. You should have caught it. No, 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 no problems there. Got it, and you got yeah, some ancient one civilization. Ancient, yeah, it's something. That's it's a lucky one. But I need the leveling up so I can make the thing rope. Exactly. 
Exactly. I'm just going to catch some stuff down here. Quickly. Yeah, go for it, Gero. I'm just going to clean up here a bit. Just get some timber shifted. I'm going to shift the timber. And let's see. Oh, wow. These guys are really going crazy here. Marvelous. And some rocks as well. You call me Rocky Balboa. <laughs> dad joke of the evening. Or oh, one of the many, many dad, dad jokes of the evening. As I'm picking up rocks and ores and everything else. Alrighty. That we can throw in there. Yes, I wanted to go get the eggs. That's actually why I went up there. I went up onto the roof and then I heard the... The shiny, <laughs> the lucky cativa, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna run away. Okay, we Mr. need it waiting for cakes. I got an egg. Please, a swift runner or anything along those lines. It is a swift runner! Nice! <laughs> only that. Yes, only those two. Lecker. Those are the only two that matter. Okay, so now. I'm working really hard to just catch everything. So that I can make us that saddle. Yes. The thing lip over here, um, that is... Yeah, we can actually, we can just replace the two things that were used in the breeding with two little uh, pin gullets, I think, for now. There's an artisan that's going in there. Great stuff. Okay. And then... We are... Oh, Bushy is taking a bath. You are preparing for it. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, Bushy was the one that was making the cake, and Bushy hasn't finished the cake yet. <laughs> we need to go catch another Bushy. Come, Bushy. We can do that. But I'm not sure whether Bushy has respawned yet. Let's see. I hope we can actually breed the Alpha Pels, because I think when I... Tried it previously, it didn't work. But it says here the Pell can be assigned. And there we go, that's the female, female Bushy, and where's the male Pen King? Pen King! Pennyworth, where are you? Oh, the uh, Aether Deer is upset and went to bed. Uh, usually. I know, they get upset so easily. Mm. They upset easily, and now he's phasing in and out of existence. All right, guys. Gonna bake us a cake, eh? We're gonna bake you a cake soon enough. Just please. Do your thing. Now, it says not enough cake, but that probably means that it will use, you know, it will complete and get ready. And only once we actually pop a cake in there will it be completed. Probably. I'm guessing. Okay. Anyway. Uh, dropping in a bunch of stuff. I don't think we need anything else here. Come on. Bake us a cake. Takes so long. Well, while that's happening, let's make some balls. <laughs> okay. This is also, it's not very exciting to, to just make balls. I want to go catch stuff. We want, we need an Anubis to come in as quickly as possible so that we don't have yeah. to make everything and build everything ourselves. All right, but you guys can think so long also for, uh, for a name for the thing loop that I'll be having soon enough. Oh, that I actually have. I have already got the thing loop. Never mind. I've got the thing loop right over here. So a, uh, a name for the thing loop that you can think of. It's a marvelous little creature. Really, really love it. And uh, yeah, we are going to be riding on it with a lot of speed. I can't believe we actually got a swift runner already. Yeah. This is going to be faster than any of the thing lobes you've ever written, dear. Yeah. You see, we, we didn't, when we first started with the thing lobes and stuff, when you have a fully upgraded one, eh? Actually, like a yeah. fully condensed one. That thing is fast, but it doesn't have swift, nimble, runner, or any of the other amazing traits. It's just a thing loop that is fully leveled up. And when you do condense a whole bunch of other thing loops into them, then they do become very, very quick. But not as quick as they would have been if they were fully condensed and 
swift runners like the ones we have. So uh, we are in for a for a nice little treat. Yes. Now in my in my game, I have bred a swift, nimble runner with a I think a burly body. So those four traits I have one that has all four of those, which is it's an awesome one to have. Because the burly body also gives them a bit more defense. So they are able to withstand blows more easily. So you can use them for running and if you wanted to you could um, you know fight while ridden on while riding on while riding on them. Okay, so I might die. <laughs> Because I fell into the water. Oh no. That's fine. I'm going to use this oh, you're opportunity. Just there. Okay. I'm using this opportunity. Okay. <laughs> uh, I see Nick is incapacitated. Okay, Nick is drowning. I drowned. <laughs> so you were there and now you're not there anymore. Okay. Oh, you so, saw me. Yeah, yeah, I saw where you were. You were so close to home. And you died. <laughs> oh. Okay. Everybody's just getting ready to go to bed here, it seems. And poor old Vulpus over here and myself, we are just cooking a cake. And we're not baking it, we are definitely cooking it. It's just everything thrown in one, we are making a cake. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to clean up everything on the outside here. Because this disturbs my zen. Everything lying around the back here. Oh, we've got a lot of baked berries here. Oh, this is really dark. Maybe I should come home first. <laughs> Almost fell down a cliff. Oh, goodness. That's not nice. That's not nice at all, dear. Well, now I can always come back to the night. Yes. So where did you spawn now? You were... Oh, you're on that side. Okay, yeah. okay. Nick is traversing the whole area. Oh, a rush ore is also upset and went to bed. <laughs> Like, why is everybody so upset? They should be using the hot springs here. It's nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Almost finished with this one cake. Goodness me. Like 95% done. I can make a makeshift handgun. <laughs> ah, yeah, we that's don't want true. that, eh? Well, it is a start, but... If we can somehow get a nicer handgun, that'll be even amazing, even more amazing. Uh, but if you wanted to, we could start with that. That is a nice one to at least have already. And we are okay, going to have an Anuba soon. Hmm? 70 ingots. I wonder how it's going. Let me go check with you. Yes, go check on our, our ingot farm. Now we will know if they actually continue. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's 134. Oh wow! Awesome. Okay. So you can. Uh, okay, we need a chest there where you are, so you can just dump everything in the chest. Fine, I'm walking slowly. I'm coming up. How far are you from the? From About the, two blocks. From two blocks. <laughs> like two uh, floor squares, or like yeah. two blocks. Two floor squares. Two floor squares. Okay, <laughs> two of those blocks, not like. A whole city block or two city blocks. Well, the cake is 98%, 99% done. I'm waiting. This is like slightly more exciting than waiting for paint to dry. Ah, oh, hello there, it's a room. Hey, it's a room. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could, glad you're also here. And uh, it's a room is saying we could call, uh, we could call the Anubis, oh, well, we can call the Anubis Lucario, most likely, or. Unless you are referring to the uh, Fenglope being called uh, Lucario. I know Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon. I think it is Ooh, Lucario. How does he look again? Very much like Anubis. Very uh, simple. Well, not, not, I say very much, but also very different. Uh, the thing is that one could argue that maybe uh, Anubis is based on Lucario. But then again, both of them are based on Anubis, the, the god of death or the god of, under, of the underworld in Egyptian mythology. So they've got the same stem. And um, they're basically two interpretations of, of that in PAL form. Uh, but it's quite cool. I like, I like Anubis. It was a, more of a fighting style. Uh, sorry, not Anubis. I like Lucario. That's more of a fighting style uh, Pokemon that we encountered uh, back in the day. Uh, finally have a cake, which means we can go and dump that at the top here. Yeah, I picked up a large dark egg. What do I have? A Nox. Really? In a dark and a large egg? Oh, yeah, I also got a, uh, a Nox in a large dark egg. Oh, 
All right. We have a cake in there and they are not finished yet with their breeding. So maybe we should call it an... Well, not call it a night. Maybe we should sleep. Yeah. Just in case people think we're just disappearing, yeah? <laughs> uh, it's Arun says Mega Lucario is one of their favorites. We never encountered... We stopped uh, playing Pokemon Go also just before the Mega Pokemon came in. We would have... I think we would have still done... I think I think if I'm speaking... I'm speaking under correction here. But I think the... Uh, they were Mega... There's 64 ingots that were just lying on the floor. Yes, I couldn't walk any... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw it on the floor. <laughs> okay. I think the Mega Mega Pokemon were starting to come in in raids and stuff. And then we stopped playing that. And, you know, that happened and locked. No, now we need to make that. gun arrows. Ah, oh, ammo. Yeah. That that's is going to... Story. But that's where the Anubis will come in. Yeah. Because they are going to be much faster than us at making everything. So come on, you guys. Are we almost done? Yes. Yes. Shall I hatch it, dear? Yeah. It's a huge rocky egg. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're coming. Here we go. It sounds so dodgy there. So it's a slacker, but it is an artisan, hydromaniac, and cheery. So at least it is working 20% faster than one that doesn't have any traits whatsoever. So let's bring in Anubis. Come on, Anubis. Uh, you are going to replace whom? Uh, one of the pen gullets. Uh, yeah, one of the pen gullets. I think the swift pen gullet. You will be replaced with Anubis. And we're going to put Anubis as just handiwork. Yeah. Not ca- or well, maybe handiwork and mining. Um, handiwork, mining, not carrying stuff around. Don't get distracted with that. Like make 28 gigaspheres or uh, 56 mega. Green, green or yellow. Go for 58, 56 of the green one. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I think let's go for that for now. Okay. Now, I can finally equip a Gale Claw, wow, so... Wow, Anubis is so fast. Do we need another one? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. We, we're just waiting for the cake. Okay. I'm going to just... Uh, Gale Claw there, okay. Oh, okay. Um, wait, why is... I'm not sure why this little Fox Sparks of mine was deciding that it wanted to uh, make the ingots instead of the cake where I put it. But anyway... Okay, we need. Mm. No, we need more ancient civilization parts. Yes. Two more. And then a lot of ingots, but that's fine. We can get that and palladium fragments, and I can make the condenser. Okay. Perfect. Oh, my armor is almost kaput. No, oh, mine too. Okay. Let's. Oh, King Paka. It's level 23. Maybe we will it's be able to take on. also as a ruby. On. As a ruby is 17. Oh, is it? No. Oh, as a ruby could also be very nice to have. And then at level 25 is the thing, look. Hmm. I think as a ruby would be a good one to go for because yeah. that's a great watering pal. Are we going to go to the bridge? Uh, I think so. Um, let me just... Uh, do I have my gold claw? Let me just double check that I've got my gold claw. Yes, I've got a gold claw. Okay, I don't really have a lot of strong pals with me, but I've got some. We'll do it. Yes. Don't worry. Alrighty. Hello, Melpaka. Okay, um... Ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. Dire Howl. Let me see, it is to the west. That's where we're going. Oh, there's a chest up here. I'm gonna grab the chest, quickly. Any moment now, now. Quickly, okay, there we before go. Nick comes. Yes. I got a copper key, two pearl spheres, and 86 gold coins. I think Azurobi should be somewhere along this stretch of shallowish water. I don't oh, think yes. we can see her yet. There are some kelp seas down there, which are, of course, uh, based on both seahorses and the kelpie, which is a mythological sea creature. Uh, we are going to go straight past them to go take on Azurobi, I think. There's also a camp here. Oh, is it? And okay. a dire wolf, two dire wolves. And there we go. Finally, 
making use of our guild laws here. Okay, so... Kelly, oh Chip, sorry Chip, misnamed you here. Chippy, we are going to be taking on Azurobi, you ready? We just Why can't mine get into my... Trying, can't yours also not? What, into the... Into oh. your arms. Oh goodness. Um, because we're in the water. Yeah. Sure. Fine? Yeah. Going to be fine. We are going to... There we go. Is it... Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay, I am going to just use my uh, little uh, chippy here. You're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Just chippy, attack! And as a roby little sea serpent like creature. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. No bubbles. Bubbles cannot catch me if I'm on my gold claw. <laughs> ah. Got my shield there. Hey, so. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. No bubbles. No, 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 no. Bubbles are not allowed to get me. Miss. I think I shot you rather than it. Come on, Azarobi. Feel the wrath of the ecologist. We're going to make you love us. This is going to be a Stockholm Syndrome situation, but it's going to be what's going to happen. We're just telling you. Bubbles? Yes, bubbles. Hehe. <laughs> Miss. Miss. Always get me with that pink one. Is it? Ah, oh, got me with the water. Okay. Almost, it's basically time to recall our pals. Oh. Dead. No, no, no. She is one health. Okay, you can throw the next one. Never mind. Hey! Got her! Nice! As a Roby. Nice. Three Coming. ancient civilization parts. Alright. Alrighty. So we go rescue that. Um... Yes, let's go rescue. Whatever there is to rescue. And look at the dire howl eating the remains. There was a syndicate member lying on the ground here and the dire howl ate him. Eat the corpse. They they actually do. They are man eaters. There we go. Oh, it's in our shocks. Yeah. Wonderful. You can rescue him. They don't want to kill more. Uh, it's just oh. outside here. I think the uh, oh the mammoth is dead. There are a whole bunch outside here, but we can kill them. I'm just taking them down to low health so that they can die easily with a fire. Sheesh. There we go. My poor little Vulpus is not looking too hot here. What did you catch here? Darwolf. Okay, cool. I'm hungry again. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm usually hungry, not at the moment, though, interestingly enough. Okay, just going to shoot that one in the head and then please finish him up. There we go. Some celeries down there. I assume you're catching them, eh? Oh. You can catch that one? I think it will be my first celery. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Cheeky bastard. Yeah. Oh, there was a little kelpsy over here as well. Yeah, yeah it's anyway. my first one. Yeah, I was actually speaking about the uh, celery earlier, where those big fins, these fins on the side of its body, basically like wings. In most cases, they would be using that to fly th or move through the water, like by flapping, basically flying in the water or underwater. But in the case of these little guys, they apparently are quite light. And they're able to float 
in the air. And then as a result, they use their, or often, or then of course they use their, their wings for actual flight, uh, which is cool. Still jumping out. Yeah. Sheesh. Okay, while you're busy there, I'm going to go and open this chest over here, which has paninis for me. It's got some paninis or some baguettes over there. Nice bread, always bread and coins. Really, it's still, it's just wasting my balls now. I'm leaving. Don't want it anymore. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Play oh, hard to get. Yeah, always seems to be go that way, eh? Yeah. Alrighty. That was successful. What did we come and do? Oh, we did that. Okay. Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay, so we did Azurobi. Next, we still have Mal King Packer, which we can also get. That's a nice one. It's level 23. Three. We should be able to get that one. And then after that, it's Fenglip, I guess. There should also be a Gumos. South of Bushi, there should be a Gumos over there. And maybe a sweep out to the left then. Yeah. May as well go and catch a whole bunch of... Uh, of Pels. Imagine I just threw a ball at that one before you could... <laughs> I sometimes do that to you, so... Yeah. Wouldn't have minded. Okay, let's see. How many There's times... There's a effigy there. Oh, I see. We need, like, I think five effigies also again level up. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. And there's a, well. chest, chest there's a chest as well. And I think there's a mine shaft there, There too. is a mine shaft, and I think that is the black market here. Really? I only got bread. I got gold coins, arrows, and megasphere. One megasphere. I suspect this is the yeah. This is the black marketeer. I will not be using the black marketeer because he is smuggling animals. So I will not be using him. I will. You can. You can go and have a look and see whether there's anything there. I will not be doing that. Uh, we did get the castaways journal. So while you are checking what he has for sale, let's just see here the castaways journal. Decided to distance myself from the tower and have begun to explore other areas. There are places in air, each area that appear to be vast caverns. They appear to have traces of human involvement and ore can be found throughout them. Uh, could someone have used pels to dig these holes? That's interesting. Uh, I can't help but feel overwhelmed by all the mysteries I'm unable to solve. But my pals have come with me no matter where I go. As long as I have food to give them, that is. As long as I have food to give them, that is. I believe there's also a syndicate thug over here that wants to die. There we go. Come on, take him out, little wolfie. There we go. Thank you. All right. So did the black market here have anything interesting there? No, only like the usuals. Is it? Yeah. Bell claw and a king packer. I'm okay. gonna king back up and uh, penguin. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I won't be using the uh, the black market here because the way poaching works, of course, is that as you buy, you fuel the uh, the uh, you you drive the demand for something, and yeah. then of course you uh, more animals will be poached. Well, that's how everything works in life. It is so. Where yes. there's the consumer, there's the Demand, there's the products. Yes. Now, in this case, however, the uh, black marketeer is poaching, basically, or getting from poachers. He is getting. Technically, I think a lot of the place, or most of the animals the black marketeers get, would be the animals that you can find in the syndicate bases and in the Free Pal Alliance oh, bases. Because yeah. they obviously are gathering them to actually sell it to someone. And it's most likely being. Oh, hello, oh, look at where they are. Accidentally. Yeah, there are no accidents, my dear. Alrighty. Are you ready? I think so. Okay, I'm going to be furious or swinging my f my axe around furiously as I mow down first the Maltakas and then King Paka. Oh, okay, that one's dead. Come on. 
And then just recall you. Come on, it is time for Flammenwerfer. Flames, 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 flames. And then some more flames. No, oh, okay, you landed straight on my little vulpus. That is not pleasant, King Paka. Why do you do that? <laughs> oh, you got me there. Going for you. Shooting that syndicate thug that these is. Stupid ass syndicate thugs, also. Yeah, I did shoot that uh, one syndicate thug that was battling a cap capriti, just so that the capriti could actually kill it easily. Supreme fluff commander. No, no, no! You're not jumping on me. Okay, next one's your throw. Perfect. Yeah. He's got 10 health, so I'm just gonna shoot him. Yeah. Once more, when the time comes. Come on. Just trying to catch him, but I um, don't know whether we'll be... Oh, never mind. We will oh, be yay. fortunate enough to catch him. Yay! Cool. One more ancient civilization part. And one ancient technology part. Because <gasps> that's actually what we were after. The ancient technology parts. Yeah. Because that means... Uh, have you... You've got the Pal Condenser already or not yet? Um, not yet. I only need... I need the civilization part. Okay, but you already uh, got, got the, the recipe. recipe yeah. Okay. You don't have the ore mining site yet? No. Also and not the hip lantern. You want to go for the hip lantern? How many points do you have? Um, Should have two now. I've got three actually. Oh nice, yeah I've also got three. So I will go for one and you for the other. Okay, will you make us the hip lanterns dear and I'll yeah. build the ore mining sites. Yeah sure. Perfect. <laughs> Marvelous. Oh that's awesome. Okay. Awesome how that worked out that we happened to stumble upon it here. Yeah. Loving that. Okay. Now, where are we going? I guess... Wait, what level are you now? I'm almost level 26, so 6,000 still. Oh, wow. Okay. So I must... So close. Catch everything. Yes. I was just about to ask about the Capriti here. <laughs> and there we go. That should be it. Now, I'm just going to... What shall I do? There we go, you've got the Capriti. Capriti is actually a weird little thing as well. Where technically it's got a bush growing on its back. It's similar to, in, in Pokemon at least, the Bulbasaur, which has a little plant growing on its back. Oh yeah. And I wonder whether it gets... It must get some benefit because the, the bush on it is actually green in color. So it is photosynthesizing. And it most likely has its roots in the uh, fused with the Capriti. There's uh, another dungeon here. I was just it. thinking there is a dungeon down here. We could do this. Okay, well, if I can just get out of here. Because my little uh, Wilfie decided to jump into the water. I think it is closed though. I think so. Yeah, it is boarded up at the moment. Unfortunately. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so the Capriti, if we go and have a look here at Capriti, where are you? There we go. A cute little bush, a uh, cute little goat. So that's where Capri comes from. Uh, so Capricorn, basically like a, like a little goat. And it's got a little berry bush growing on its back and most likely has a whole bunch of little roots extending into the Capriti, not to necessarily feed on the Capriti, but to also, or not just to feed on the Capriti, it probably gets some nutrients from the Capriti's body, 
uh, but it also will be giving the capity sugars and a whole bunch of other stuff, possibly also boosting its immune system. If you look at mycorrhizal fungi, so fungi growing on the roots of trees, they very often will boost the immune system of the trees that they are growing on, which is marvelous. And in this case, this little bush here may actually be to some extent boosting the immune, the immune system of this capriti. Not a fungus, so I'm not sure whether it would have those um, the benefit of actually helping boost, helping to boost the immune system, but it definitely gets some benefit from the capriti uh, nutrients because this capriti will be feeding on a whole bunch of plants. It gets the minerals in the plants, the nutrients that are in the plants there. And then this little bush doesn't have any roots growing in the soil. So it must get all its nutrients from this capriti. And maybe it is a parasite, maybe it isn't. But it says, it does say here that the shrub on this spell's back produces berries as long as it is properly fed. And it offers these berries to potential mates. Ah, and if the flavor is to their liking, romance blossoms. So this, the benefit, it seems the most important benefit that the capriti actually gets is to attract a partner. And I'm not sure whether, well, yeah, this is not only on males, so it's for the male to attract the female and the female then to also attract the male. So they most likely are feeding off one another's bushes and if they like the other one's taste, they will then, uh, you know, pair up. And it's quite possible that the flavor of these berries would be influenced by the strength of the Capriti Pal. Because if this is a very weak one, if it's not doing too well, it's not going to have a lot of nutrients to give to the bush growing on its back. And if the bush doesn't get enough nutrients, it's not going to produce tasty berries. So in the better the condition of the capriti, the more tasty the berries will be. Which is actually a very, very interesting relationship between it. And yeah, you very often will find that animals will try to attract a partner and they will have some way of showing how fit they are. And in the case of the capriti, it is by having tasty berries because you uh, have enough nutrients not just to take care of yourself and to keep yourself alive, but also to spend on these other, um, on the bush growing on your back. So yeah, quite cool. Do you have a copper key? I have got one, yes. You can come here where I am. Uh, let's see, where are you? You are right over there? Okay, you're not too far away. So by the way, if you use like your fox barks, um, and you burn with the flamethrower. Yes. That doesn't count with your ring. You do kill them. Yeah, they, they do burn. Uh, they, they burn to death, yes. Uh, yeah, well. Yeah, there is, I think, a split second where you actually can... Uh, I see there's a little dinosaur just taking a snooze here. I can't take this cinnamon on my legs any longer. Oh, shame. I'm starting to sweat and... Ooh, <laughs> and kills them. Oh, free. I got a cloth outfit level one schematic there. Oh. Well, I'm level 25. I can go and make us some Englobe saddles. <gasps> oh, wow. Nice. Yes. That is awesome. I thought you had to be level 26. Oh, I am 26, man. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, I see there. 26 for Englobe saddle. Oh, yes. Now, 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 now. We're going to be in the pound seats. And we've got an Anubis there to help you make it yes and that's awesome <gasps> the lift monk jumped out the cheeky little guy yeah i'm not maybe i should I, I did throw stuff at him maybe i should try to get him come on lift monk where are you i've wounded you i'm coming to come and collect you uh, uh, that's you hello i see you come on get in the bowl and stay there Okay, cloth and ingots monk. is what we need. Okay, there should be a whole bunch of cloth made in that corner workbench. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I set that on. Uh, set up. Set that up earlier. Okay, so then I'm quickly gonna clear my pockets first. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna go check at that other base what the ingots are looking like. Oh uh, yes, the ingot situation. Alrighty. Well, I can actually have a look there because I'm free okay. and I've got enough space to actually do this. Oh, let's see. Yeah, lots and lots of ore that's just lying all over the place here. So I'm just going to drop those off here. There are 218 ore at the moment. Oh, it's lagging a little bit here as we are rendering everything now. 
So a little bit of a frame rate stutter there. Sorry about that, guys. And Pepper is talking to us. Our uh, white staff Russell, our Jack Russell Staffy Cross. She has just woken up from her nap and she is stretching and um, you know, uh, yawning and doing all kinds of making all kinds of funny noises over there. Okay, so where's this wonderful uh, thingamabob? Where's the... Oh, there's the, the refinery. I don't know what's a thingamabob. Yeah, it's this... Uh, <sighs> furnace. That's the word. Okay. I've got a whole bunch. I've got 73 ingots on me and I'm making another 132. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'm just coming back to the base. Oh, this, these cakes are not being made. Sure, I wonder why it's stuttering so much. Not by me. Is it? How many, how many ingots do you have? Um, I have 73 on me. Oh, lagging. Yeah, it's stuttering quite a bit here, I'm afraid. I'm just going to drop it into the chest here, so that's there now. I don't know what I have that's open that could potentially make it so slow, but anyway. Hmm. Okay, it'll hopefully, when we're in the daytime again, it'll hopefully be alright. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe you should sleep, eh? Make it daytime. Bring the light. And then we can carry on. Really hoping it fixes it. Hey, where's Anubis? Not so much. But it's alright. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Nubi, where are you? I is working on it. Is it? Yeah. Perfect. Could be of all these things lying around, maybe. It could be. It will. It like most the likely. Like on. Yes, on grounded. Yeah. Yes, when the black ants used to collect all those stuff. Oh, that was a hassle. I had to go block off the ants' nest so quickly so that they didn't accumulate everything in there. It could be it. Okay. I think it's slightly better now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We still have no strong, strong, strong pals for fire, for kindling. Is he done there with that set? <laughs> yeah, you can come and pick it up. Oh my word. That's so quick. I love the Anubis. Okay, I need just Pallium fragments. Okay, that's that's easy to get. Yeah. Why does my fox sparks constantly go to make the ingots instead of the cake which I throw him at? I don't know. It's on a quest of his own. We have got a few more. Uh, we've now got six ancient civilization parts in this one chest. So that's quite nice. I'm just going to come and grab some arrows here because I see my arrows are also in short supply. Oh, I don't see any arrows here. Where? No, here by the Vixie. Oh, I picked up the... Okay, okay. No, I perfect. told you the stuff that's lying around. I picked up everything. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, perfect. So the next batch you can get them. Uh, that's perfect. How many do you have? 18. Oh, shame. Okay. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure Anubis wouldn't mind coming to make 150 for me and this now you guys will also see the strength if you haven't seen Anubis yet in action there we go 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 <laughs> this is Anubis working solo yeah and imagine having like five at your base oh yes yeah, so the little no production line and the whole all just make you very 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 quickly rack up all these arrows they are it's definitely one of my favorite Mm -hmm. Favorite, favorite pals to have in the base. And there we go. 150 arrows. I need him. Done. Okay. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> He's just like, eh. It looks like Pepper being dragged around. He also wants to work outside. Yeah, he I likes think the fresh there's some air. kind of a 
I think the table is the wrong way around. Oh, that's probably true. Of course, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's the, that's what happened there. I think it's the wrong way around. So he's, he's trying to work, but he's trying to work on it from outside. Yeah. Look how nice and fast. <laughs> that is just amazing. Okay, now, of course, this means... <laughs> we can oh, finally... First. Okay, well, okay, my thing love is just going to go do that quickly. I'm going to check... Do we, we don't have... We've got a bushy... Okay, we need more fire. We need another fire pal in here. Um, I've got this as a... As, as our socks. <gasps> our socks is level 2 fire. Yeah. Uh, we can, can who can him, I replace? We can put him in... That empty spot. Yes. Our shocks. Okay, fine. Our shocks just wants to <laughs> first kindle the ingots here. That's that's priority. Now we need a decent flyer. Yes. Ragnarok will probably be first. But to get the Ragnarok, we'll need a Grisbolt. And for Grisbolt, we need a different flyer to get to the area where Grisbolt actually is. Oh, we need Mosandas. If we can catch Mosandas, we can breed a Pen King with a Capriti to make a Rayhound, and a Rayhound with a Mosanda to make a Grisbolt. The Grisbolt can be bred with Anubis to make a Ragnarok. Oh, oh, wow, this thing is fast now. We're swift and runner. <laughs> yeah, it Look is. It, go. it is amazing. I'm like, already basically at that ruins. So, like, I'm, I'm going to come down here, and then we quickly... Have a race between the you know, older Dire Howl and you on your thing loop. Okay. I'm waiting here by the memories. Yeah, I'm coming in. Where do we stop? They by that ruins. Yeah, we're aiming for the ruins. Uh, uh, no, I'm on the wrong pal. Okay, never mind. I want my Dire Howl. There we go. Okay. We're going for, yeah, the, the doorway in those in ancient ruins there, right? Okay. Okay. Ready? Steady, go! And there goes Nick. Just like, wee! Off she goes. Oh, the thing loop is so awesome. And like, where she's, are you? Oh, there uh, yeah, you I'm coming, come. I'm coming. I'm catching up. There we go, made it. <laughs> and the best thing is, thing loop can go like high. It can be like, oh yeah, double wee. jumps, like Ooh. way up there already. Yeah, thing loop is amazing as a traverser, as a, as a transport creature, transport pal. Really, it's my favorite to ride on. Oh, yeah. And if we level it up a little bit, we'll get that Cloud Tempest skill. Which Mine is... Mine already had Cloud Tempest. I also oh, have. <gasps> yeah. We're level 16 with our thing lobes that we've had. So Cloud Tempest. Oh, my word. Yeah, you could have won that race before I even started. Oh, yeah. Shall we go again? Let's, let's start here. Go through the gateway. Uh, where are you? Uh, go up past where we were. Hello there. Okay. Okay. We'll Which go way? from. We'll go down here. Yeah. Then we'll go that way. Okay. Let me just those switch out. Arches. Yeah. So there's there are two fox parks, right? You see that rock to the left of it? Yeah. Go for that. Okay. Well, just give me a second. I just need to make that my primary skill. Our tempest. Yeah. Can you use it, or should you dismount and mount again? Now it should be available. Okay, it's quickly just loading. Okay. I didn't even know that. What if you need to dismount and mount? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hello, Cinnamon. On your mark. No, no, not yet. Cinnamon has to say hello. Hello, say hello to everybody. You're a slightly wet little one. Have you been outside? Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready. On your marks. Get set. Go. go. And vroom, there goes Nick. Just like vroom. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's just ridiculously fast. So Cloud Tempest. Yeah, I always have Cloud Tempest on my on my uh, thing loop. Simply because it is such an awesome skill to have. Now, if we look at the thing loop, we actually... I want to... You, you should just stand there here and you look at yours feet. If you look at it, it should be an odd, an even-toed ungulate. So it is more closely related. Listen, a minute, so she's just standing up here to get food. It's more closely related to goats and cattle and stuff like that. The the even-toed ungulates 
than it is to the odd toed ungulates like rhinos and stuff like that. It's definitely not related to a hare, even though it does resemble the jackalope, the uh, mythological creature from the USA, which is basically just a jackrabbit with an antelope, with antelope or deer horns or antlers stapled onto it or fixed to it. So I guess that's the inspiration for the fenglope here, but it is definitely an even toed ungulate. It's definitely just a big uh, goat or antelope, which is of course where the lope part comes from. Uh, Memphis also wants food. Everybody wants food and dad just has to hand it out. Okay, they're getting a little bit at the time so they don't overeat too much. Uh, but yeah, Memphis does love eating. He's exactly like me. Like father, like son. Okay. Maybe this dungeon is open again maybe still open but it is open uh, yeah it's open again dear okay going in okay also entering i'm just going to get my little fox sparks out get a little light on the subject technically i can harvest a whole lot of palladium here Since we are here now, who's attacking what now? A uh, Fuddler. Oh, okay. Fuddler is being caught. Perfect. Six out of ten. All right. So I am going to call my thing loop. Uh, so since uh, uh, it's our ruined it, uh, say we could, I could call it Lucario. I'm going to not quite infringe not... on Nintendo. Sorry. Did he mean the? Um... I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether he meant, but uh, I did ask, uh, you know, for the thing loop. But I'm going to call my thing loop Luca. L U C A. In that case, I'm not infringing on Nintendo <laughs> at all. Not calling it anything similar to existing pals or Pokemon or anything along those lines. Hello, Mao. Calling mine Springbok. Yes, Springbok it is. All right, let's see here. Ah, here we go. Foxy taking girl. everything from you, I'm sorry. No worries. There we go. Get rid of the syndicates, thank you. There we go. Perfect. I actually want to get rid of that. Oh, my armor is basically kick-up kaput. Feels like I'm hearing a shiny. There's a shiny in there. What? You can have the shiny. Where it's is shiny it? It's a shiny cap... Shiny... Um... Capriti? Ow. Oh, shiny Mao! I thought it's one of those, um... Uh... Where is it? Here. Yeah. Oh, wow, I see ya! Uh... Wow, that's awesome. Thanks, dear. So a shiny Mao. Here, we're just gonna chuck a whole bunch of balls at it. And hope that it sticks. Oh, wow, look at him! I see! the floor burn! I see. That's cool. That is cool. I've never seen that move before. That is really cool. Seems like with this new update, there's lots more lucky, lucky pals. Either that, or we are just getting lucky. <laughs> no, there's definitely more. This Which is a I, lucky a vanguard. Wow. Well, hmm? oh, it's a good thing. Yeah, oh. it is. I don't complain. I got another ancient civilization part there with that thing. Oh, one. cool. That is cool. I uh, almost threw, threw out my dire howl. Then I realized that we now have thing loops. I didn't even pack mine in my pocket. Oh, shame. No. Just the end of an era. Cast to the side. Yeah. Shame. Okay, there is coal here that I can also harvest. May need to go for that since we are going to be making ammo soon. <laughs> Let's see. Just, I don't want to over. I don't want to be too heavy, but I should be able to harvest this entire node. Yeah, barely, but I can. There we go. And you got that chest, eh, dear? Yeah. Perfect. It's only like a gigas. Oh, okay. Shame. Oh, well, that's something. And now... Oh, this just... thing looks so... I know, a hey, really awesome creature. Awesome pal to have. Makes traversal a breeze. Uh, and its horns are small enough to go through the 
Yes, the tiniest the, of places. The dungeon doors. What do we have? Nothing? Oh, that means it is still open from last time. Oh. Oh, well. No, no, we got chased. Oh. Whatever was here is dead. Oh. Okay, yeah. well, we got the oh. rewards. Yeah. <laughs> Gold resistant belt armor schematic level three. Oh. And Belenoir's slab fragment. Yeah, I've got also that and also ancient technical theme. Oh, nice. Okay. So I've got the purple cold wow. resistant belt armor schematic. We need to go home and make stuff. We need to go make that. Alrighty. Homeward bound. I need to make a condenser. Yes. Let's see. Oh, cheers, President. Glad you could pop in. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend further. Cheers, President. I just realized, as I said, that, that we are almost done with the weekend. So, oh. hope you have a lovely week ahead. <laughs> very sad. Yeah. Let's Where see. should I put this container? Can I put it here? Is there any rocks here? Uh, where is that? Outside? I don't think there is. Well, the thing is, we do, do also have everything we need. Um... Just trying to see yeah. where you are. Um, what is they? I can't see your name. Outside. Which which side are you? Outside is a big place, dear. By the rocks and. Uh, okay, there you are. Okay, yeah, you can put it there. It's fine. Like outside is big. It's not that big. It's big. It could be like three sixty degrees. Could be a big area. Okay, let's see here. Or can go in there. I need to eat again. Next time I'm set setting that down, eh? I'm gonna turning, see now how many fox sparks I actually caught. Yeah, yeah, you you're condensing now, eh? Mm. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna check whether we have cake. Have we got cake? We have no cake. Where is this our socks? No, stop doing this. No, 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 no. We need Anubis, so come on. Bake cake. That is your only job. Bake cake. I will put my Foxy on this. You bake cake. Tee <laughs> Let's see. I see we've got 45 minutes left here. That's such a shame. I know, it's been so much fun to play this, as always. Really, 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 really enjoying this game. Goodness me. I had so many fox bugs, I've leveled it up three times. I've got three stars. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, you went on a fox bark catching spree, eh? Yes. Now, I need to check my fox sparks. Is it really the best one, or have I got better ones to level up? So let's see here. I've got... No, definitely not that one. That one is being sacrificed so quickly. Downtrodden, unstable, and clumsy. That's just a bad one. Um, I've got a swift run that doesn't help me. I've got a muscle head. Muscle head is good. I'm gonna make my muscle head stronger. So here now, of course, we have got the Pell condenser. Uh, possibly not the <laughs> nicest thing to do to Pells, but we are getting rid of some of them. We are condensing them and making this one stronger. So taking their spirits, in essence, and uh, making our other ones stronger. So uh, begin condensation, and there we go. That one is now stronger. I've got a ferocious... Uh, yeah, I've got two ferocious ones of the leaf monks. Yeah, I'm going to make that ferocious one. I'm going to upgrade Chip. And Chip is going to become stronger. So initially you need 4, then you need 16, then you need 32, and then you need 64 in order to level it all the way up to the 4th star. And each time you do it, the attack goes up, the, the attack, the health, the defense, everything goes up. And the recoil, in this case, the case the lift monk jumping on your shoulders with a submachine gun, it becomes stronger as well. So, yeah, useful to have. Okay, now, I think I'm probably going to make my gale claw stronger as well how many do you have five nice i have three i can give you one only if you want to i will i will definitely give you one dear my, my dear 
<laughs> so there we go. So four, and this will mean that if you upgrade your Geld Law, they actually become faster. So that is a very, very useful thing to do as well. Okay, let's see here. Geld Laws. I'm going to just take this and your, one. And your makeshift gun is also ready there by the weapons works. Oh, perfect. So this one gets dropped. Thanks, honeyman. You're welcome, dear. And then, up. what did I put away? I put my Fenglob away. Yeah, I didn't want to put that away completely. Uh, ah, wonderful. Thanks, dear. And now, I guess we need to make gunpowder. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, the cloth's already made. Wow. Oh, I don't think I've got gunpowder recipe yet. I actually do, so I hope okay. I'm do that now. Perfect. I do have gunpowder. High quality workbench. Oh, okay. This is the high quality workbench. Never mind. Oh, we don't have charcoal yet. Oh. That is a bit of a problem. Okay, I've got a suggestion. I'm oh, going I see to go now, yeah. We make the billionaire slab here by that, but it works. Oh, great. is it? Okay. So that's the raid boss, of course. The new raid boss that has also come into the game. You only need four of them. Yes. Sure. We're going to need 20 ancient civilization parts for two hip lanterns. That's going to be a bit later. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's too much for now. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to Oops. cancel this for now. We need charcoal. How many green um, spheres do you have? Green spheres? I have 15. Oh, I'm going to give you Okay. Yeah, I saw you had quite a few there. I'm just very, 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 very slowly coming back to base. Um, oh, and I need to drop the cold resistant pelt, pelt armor schematic. Then I'm yes. going to die and go to that. Uh, cold, the cold. Oh yes, the cold area. Yes. Yeah, that could work. I'm just re really, really slowly making my way here. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, finally, I can come to base. Come, come home. To the main home. They're making a bunch of charcoal for us there by that base now, dear. Okay, sweet. Yes. There's um, some spheres you can pick up at the ranch as well. Ah, perfect. I'll do so in a moment. Let me just take here. Stones, putting it away. And then, oh wow, a whole bunch of spheres, yes. And arrows. It, 12, 14. 14 spheres, 3 arrows, 14 wool and 30 coins. That's not bad. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put the wool away here. Right. Oh, wow, this cake is still not done. What have we got? That is, that's coarse ammo, that's not handgun ammo. Okay. 13 ingots here. We can make a whole bunch of charcoal though. I'm gonna throw your spheres down. You say you've got 15. Yes, yes I do. Oh, that's going to take forever to make. You go. Thank you, dear. Much appreciated. Well, 32 spheres. Yay! Okay. Um, I'm wondering whether we shouldn't perhaps also just level up this one chickpea. Yeah, we can. Okay. You do the chickpea, the vixies. Yes. Level up and then you give it to me and... Yeah, and then you finish it up. Mm. Okay, yes, that's a good plan. There's an artisan, and we, that means it's working nice and fast. Now we are just going to level it up because leveled up chickpeas won't lay eggs quicker, but they may lay more eggs at a time. So that is wonderful. Oh, and okay, I don't have a Vixie on me. And I don't think I really have a Vixie either, come to think of it. Really? Yeah. May have one, but that's it. Don't have more than one, that's for sure. Uh, let's just quickly check. I have dropped the chickpea back in the base, in the pal box. I've, oh, I've got three Vixies. Okay. 
I'm just going to take the Vixie as well. Sacrifice my three. I hope you didn't need the cloth for anything. No, 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 no. Don't need it at all. I just need to double check the, with the Vixies. Yeah, you don't have an artisan one, eh? Let's see. I'm not sure whether that actually increases the rate at which they dig things up, though. It may not. No. I only have... I don't have great... Okay, no like worries. Dragon foliage and yeah, now I've got, I've got a dainty eater that I have now upgraded. And I'll be putting it back in the pell box now. There we go. It is back in the pell box, so you can go and take it and upgrade it, dear. Awesome. Oh, I need to... Oh, yes. Uh, the armor, the armor, the armor. I see Belenor's slab. Okay. So for the pelt armor, we need eight ancient civilization parts per armor piece. Wow. Yeah. So that unfortunately is a holdback. Unfortunately. And now that it's night time, we have got lag again. Really? Yeah. So weird. Lag spikes. Do you want to sleep first? I think maybe. And I'll do the yeah. upgrades now. It sounds like a good plan, yes. At least then it's daytime and we can see everything and there's no lag. Or less lag at least. Okay. Now, I have got... Oh, I'm still waiting for our shocks to just finish up this cake. Hopefully he will be able to do that soon. And in the meantime, I'm going to just drop a bunch of stuff away. Why do we have... Okay, we've got lots of stuff everywhere. Uh, there should be yeah, a few things I can just dump in here. Okay, now, what I'm going to now do is hatch an egg. Because I did find some kind of electric egg. A, uh, an electric... Yeah, I thought it was a shocking egg, but it's an electric egg. There we go. Electric egg gives me Dazzy. Second one that I've got of a Dazzy. Razzle dazzle them. Okay. Oh my word. Okay. Foxy, why are you not making charcoal for us? Please. Please make charcoal. <sighs> the cake is almost done. Almost. One. Almost. Almost for the one. Yeah, we really need to get a... Uh, a nice Ragnarok or three. Nice, we can upgrade our base. Yay! Nice. What did we build? Two fluffy bell beds. Ah, uh, that's what we needed. Okay. Sphere assembly line and a power generator needed next. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not sure where we're going to put the sphere uh, assembly line, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we. It's almost time to move bases. Mm-hmm. Maybe we will, I don't know, that's not going to be very entertaining. We can maybe do that off screen. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a good plan. So the idea is that we are going to be putting our base over here. There's a nice, big, flat area. Very little going on there. It's close to pinking, which is nice uh, for, for a daily farming of the uh, ancient civilization parts. And then it is just, it's a great place to actually build. And now that we have the access to, da -da 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 if I can just go to build here, now that we've got access to the ore mining site, we don't need ore veins in the area we're building. Uh, and instead we can just go select a big flat area with nothing in it. And we can build there. We can have the ore mining site, we can have the logging site, we can have the stone quarry, all those things. Ah, oh, wonderful. The cake is done. Yeah. We can get another Anubis. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully a good one, yes. Come on, lay that egg. Come on. Where's the male? The <gasps> female. Oh, that was the pinking I took away. Oh my wordy. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, just quickly go and remove the cake first, dear. Oh my okay. goodness gracious me. That's why there was a pinking that wasn't doing anything. 
<laughs> okay, Wait, I why think. Why did I'm... you remove the thing? I needed to put something else in, and then uh... I was like, yeah, no, but we don't need him for water. Come, Pinking, come back, come back, come back. There we go, got you. Sheesh. Oh, sorry about that, dear. Have you removed the cake? Yeah. Okay. Now I think we're going to just have to wait for them to first finish getting busy. Oh, oh there we go. You can put the cake in. Because they were the two that were breeding earlier. There we go. And you can take it and you can Yay. incubate it because that's going to be your first newbie, Anubis. Newbie, newbie. Oh. oh my word, slacker, suntan lover and a sadist. Oh my word, okay. Not a very good one. No. But it's okay. I will love him still. Yes. I'm not gonna have him in my party, but we can put him in the base. Yeah, we could. There's going to be another one that's going to be useful. Yeah. Not as useful as our other one, but it is going to be useful. Where is this all shocks? Yeah, anyway. Not sure. Apparently, this Arshox. Oh, this Arshox. Oh, is upset. He's like, rawr, 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 rawr. he grumbles. Mr. Grumble Stolskin. Mr. Grumpy Pants. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Fine. Then we'll make ammo or gunpowder at least here. Um. Oh well, we can only make six. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, it's going to be like zip, 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 quite quick. There we go. And that's six. And gunpowder. Oh, oh, we need we need ammunition. We need Oh of course. Technology. We need not coarse ammo. Oh! I can't make the handgun ammo yet, can we? A oh, coarse ammo. It needs coarse ammo. Never mind. Oh, okay. It uses coarse ammo. I can make that. Um, let's make that here. Coarse ammo. I can make a power generator. Oh, this takes so long. Anubis, please speed it up. There we go. Thank you. You can make a power generator. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. We'll probably put that at our new base. Yeah, we'll put that so. at our new base. Yes. A new base for Anubis. Okay. I'm wondering whether we shouldn't perhaps call it night here, dear. You want? Yeah. I think so. I think we've done everything we wanted to. I mean, yes. we've we've got we've got our fang lopes. Yeah. They're gorgeous. We've got Anubis who's busy crafting stuff. Yeah. What we can also do if we wanted to is off screen we can get a whole bunch more cakes. Yeah. Although we need Ragnarok, so I think we'll breed Ragnarok on screen. But yeah, we can get some more cakes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think that's a... Uh, yeah, so I think that's it for tonight, eh? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. We're a little bit uh, quicker than we usually are, but we are going to have you back next week. Uh, next week, of course, we are wrapping up our Avatar Ooh. Frontiers of Pandora playthrough. And then if you want, you can also vote in the meantime what we should start playing after that one so we because we are finishing it next week what should we play after that so hope you all have a wonderful week up ahead and we will see you all again soon so stay safe everyone and we'll see you soon cheerio cheers cheers